What is up, everybody? What is up, what is up, what is up? Happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday. How is everybody doing? How are you guys doing? Hopefully everything seems to be okay today. We're all gonna have a good day, I think. But uh, I wanna say welcome everybody to Roby Tech. Uh, this, is a, this is a special episode. Every once in a while we get like, what is essentially just one of those crazy builds in front of one of our biggest supporters, Psycho, whose build we're doing today, coming in at a total of $9,000 pre-tax. So you think about plus tax, we're talking about over 10 grand. And we're already kicking off uh, Hype Train. First and foremost, I wanna kick off and just say, big shout out to our sponsor for this particular episode. This is Karma, formerly known as Shop Tagger. We're gonna talk a little bit about them later on. It's a little secret I use for basically making sure I get stuff at cheap prices. And then also I've picked up a couple uh, 3000 series cards with them. So we'll talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, first and foremost, before we get too crazy, I wanna make sure I go through the giveaways and all that stuff, get your attention on all of the great content we're gonna be making today and walk you through. But we have three giveaways that always happen over the course of the show. The first and foremost, which is always kicking off already right now, and that is for, hold on, let me move a, I have a little screen a little bit high. Uh, that is for double hype trains. So if we get two level five hype trains here on the show over the course of the entire show, uh, then we'll give away a 500 gig NVMe SSD. If we get uh, 700 likes on the YouTube video, uh, so on the YouTube stream, we'll also give away another half a terabyte NVMe SSD. And then finally, down at the bottom, you see that $50 gift card, it says 50. If it gets to 50 subs, we give away a $50 new gift card. If we get 100 subs, it comes a $100 new gift card, all the way up to 5,600Xs, 5,800Xs, 5,900Xs, 3060s, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so lots of giveaways, and we, like, we've given away, what, a 5,600X and a 5,800X last week, and I know you guys are gunning for giving away a 3060. Um, I actually just got a spare one in, so we've got, we got that one all ready to go already. Um, guys, it is going to be a really great show. Finally, we also have the sub-only giveaway for the month of May. We're giving away two RTX 3070s. Two RTX 3070s to two lucky subs right here on Roby Tech. The way that works is all you gotta do is, uh, if you're over at youtube.com slash Roby Tech or twitch.tv slash new, pop on over to youtube.com, I'm sorry, pop on over to twitch.tv slash Roby Tech. Drop your free Prime subscription if you are an Amazon Prime member and you wanna just basically drop your free sub. Uh, you could potentially walk away with the GPU. Um, and then if you wanna get extra entries, uh, subscribing to tier two, tier three gets you a ton of extra entries. We talked about that already. It's one of the best ways to, uh, to buff it up. And then obviously doing things like gifting subs also gets you extra entries, et cetera. So if you wanna see all the rules and legalese on all of our giveaways, all that stuff is, all that stuff is all over at discord.gg slash robytech. And we are drawing the winner for this month's uh, this month's winner on Wednesday. So we will have the announce for this month's winner, sorry, for April's winner on Wednesday. And we always draw that the second Wednesday of every month or the second stream. So, um, and so that's what always happens. So just people are getting used to the new, uh, the new format. Um, Psycho dropping subs already. Don't know what it is because I got it covered with a different script. Um, but yeah, well, people are asking if, if we've done it. It's it always the second Wednesday is when we do it. So let it go uh, because we gave people one extra day, which is always awesome. So thank you very much. Uh, there we are, level two. Uh, already at 25 extra subs. Uh, we're at 257%. Let's see, uh, given how much Psycho supports, um, we'd love to see, let's see if we can get a couple, you know, 2,000% uh, level five hype streams. If we hit uh, 1,500 uh, twice, then I'll, I'll upgrade the 500 gig NVMe to a one terabyte NVMe, um, and we'll give away a one terabyte if we get two 1,500%, just to make it just that much more epic and really just really celebrate uh, such a big supporter of the show. So uh, that's where we're going from here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing today on the show. Today, we are building a $9,000 PC. That's right, we're building a $9,000 PC. This thing has all of the bells and whistles. The only thing, it's probably CKCC dropping his massive amount of subs. Let's do 50 tier one subs. We got his build in planning right now. Uh, we're gonna be doing a ridiculous custom water cooled build with CKCC. So we got that going on as well um, for his Father's Day gift. Make sure you tell his wife that it's for his Father's Day gift. Um, so we got that going on as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be building this ridiculous PC, Threadripper 3090, all of the awesome parts. We'll walk through all those parts here in a minute and I am excited. Blue Moo dropping his. Uh, as well, and then uh, yeah, so we got all of the we got all the celebrities here. Like the only one we're missing is Vega right now, and his builds next week. So um, it's uh, we got a lot going on, and all of the uh, all the heavy hitters are out already, and it's going on for this. 
you can do, yeah, you could do Jagger Draw. That is very good math. You're right. You could do uh, nine $1,000 PCs as well. What's up, Joker in Texas? Uh, Jedi Spider, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. 1,500%, guys. We've done it once. We've already unlocked halfway to uh, giving a one, ter one terabyte NVMe away instead of a 500 gig NVMe away. So this is gonna be it. So what's this about? Do Dr. Zombs Zombo says, well, what's this show about? What are we doing? Guys, we welcome to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building. We show off some pretty cool tech as well. Like last week, we showed off that ridiculous, um, uh, we showed off that ridiculous monitor uh, from Oris. Uh, the F34, the F43 VU um, as well. Um, we do builds, we do all sorts of stuff here on the show. Have a good time, do dad jokes, and literally you get to watch a full PC built uh, over the entirety of the show. This happens usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and uh, usually goes, it's been actually getting a little, done a little earlier around 8.30, um, and sometimes as late as 9, 9.30, depending on the complexity of the build. Um, guys, the other thing too that's uh, that's I'm super excited about is this week is a full week. Everything is awesome. We're doing full three, three, three typical episodes. Next week, we're only doing two episodes, but they're gonna be Thursday, Friday, because I'm gonna be off in Boulder, Colorado, um, basically street, uh, doing a shoot for Seagate. So there's some pretty cool stuff uh, going on um, out of there. But yeah, we got a lots, we got lots of really awesome coming up and we'll walk through parts. But I wanna talk a little bit about, uh, here's a deal guys, is like I always, I don't know about you, and I know, I know, I know for a fact that a lot of our tech specialists um, really dig stuff like this, um, specifically uh, when they're looking for uh, they're looking for parts. And I always like stuff that makes finding parts for PCs better, especially around GPUs. And for a long time, every month we've talked about a specific tool that used to be called ShopTagger, but ShopTagger has since upgraded their upgraded their software, upgraded their algorithms, and they've now changed your name to Karma because again, you want good Karma when you're purchasing PCs. So Karma is a Chrome extension. Uh, you can install it via Google Chrome and we're gonna show it up right here. So here is Chrome, here's Karma. Uh, Karma is, you can, like I said, you can just download it right here. We're chromegoogle.com um, and hope once this pops up, and you can just hit add to Chrome just like this and then head add my extension. Now, one of the things that you might be asking is like, Roby, why am I adding this extension? Well, this is, a lot of people say, hey, Roby, where do you get all your SL120s? Hey, Roby, where do you get all your, uh, basically your Lee and Lee Streamer Pluses? Hey, Roby, not as, not as effective, but hey, I have gotten 3000 series GPUs from this particular tool. Um, and so uh, a lot of people ask like, what are the, some of the things that you use to help get your parts? And Karma has been responsible specifically for me getting as many SL120s and specifically streamer fans because the thing is I get instant notifications via the things like their mobile and via their email that when that stuff comes into stock and at the lowest price, whether that's a scalper that might be on Newegg Marketplace or if it's just at a lower price, which we've been able to get some pretty good deals on over here. So again, one of the reasons I like to show these is because specifically um, everybody like, you wanna make sure it's like, hey, I'd love to know how to just make my shopping experience better. So I'm gonna go from here and I have, uh, well, I guess we'll do a demo. Let's start, I, they didn't, usually they have Amazon, but uh, I know they've since changed their stuff. And so I'm looking to see if Amazon might show up in here because all this other stuff, Walmart, J. Crew, okay. You can see they have a lot of, they have a lot of uh, different, they have a lot of different, uh, well, actually, this would be interesting. Let's let's uh, let's just check out. Well, no, let's see. Do they have Amazon? Amazon is one of the things. It's just I'm not getting lucky enough, and I'll show it to you here on Amazon here in a minute. Oh, there it is. There you go. So we're gonna go to Amazon. Click on Amazon and click this up. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see over here on the right here pretty quickly is you're gonna see the Karma demo. And up here in the top right, you can actually see the little logo. Um, you can do things like. Uh, move it around and stuff like that. But if I click on it and it's like, hey, here's a Habit keycaps. If you're into basically custom, uh, building your custom, uh, building a custom key, you just basically hit save and now your product is actually saved. And that's gonna take me to my page. And I'm actually okay with saving that stuff because it actually looked like pretty cool keycaps. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit allow. But here's the thing that's interesting is you look at my, my items, you can see all of the things that I've saved and specifically where I have made a lot of this stuff is things like, hey, look, there are Lee and Lee Streamer 8-pin addressable right now on sale, $69.99 over at, uh, at Newegg. They're currently out of stock, which is what it showed basically here. But point being is that if you want to sit there and get like QLs, there's uni, there's SL120s. You can see that I have these large lists 
of um, different things like my uh, GPUs, CPUs, etc. So again, I use this for all this sort of stuff. It gives me notifications when it comes in. And so if you're looking and you can see like, here's the sold out icons. But the thing is I have gotten notifications before I've seen them happen on some of the bots, um, letting me know that they've shown up in uh, on Amazon, etc. Um, the other thing too is that they also have some stuff, depending on how much you're actually into shipping, uh, into stuff, they also like, if you're basically really into shopping, again, I only pretty much shop for tech and hardware, but there might be some things, specifically if you're a much more fashionable individual than myself, um, they do have this cash back where basically you can get paid back via things like PayPal, et cetera, for stuff like Ray-Ban, um, and uh, things like that, which is actually pretty easy. You make a referral links, all that sort of stuff, um, and basically when you shop. Um, and so uh, it's like if you're looking for additional options or additional ways to potentially, you know, maybe pad your wall a little bit, um, you could be able to check, check those out. The other thing too is it also does things like it saves coupon codes. So when I go to Newegg and I want to basically check out, it does have a big bulk use of coupon codes, way more than I've seen with some of the other extensions like Bing, et cetera, where you end up getting things like sa saving things. Like, I don't know if you know about Newegg specifically, but a lot of times you end up with these like really random codes where it's like, hey, save 10% off for this particular thing. And Karma's done a better job of actually having those codes and making them apply overall. So again, pretty cool tool. Uh, they are today's sponsor. Again, check it out. If you're over on Twitch, you're seeing it come up uh, via chat. If you're on YouTube, you can just check out the link right down in the description below. Uh, it's all there for you to, to take a gander at. I'm telling you, it's worth it. I have bought a quite a bit of hardware via using their particular tool, um, and it just makes it a little bit easier for you. Specifically, I, what I'll do is like, if you're trying to build a build, and with things like shortages on like power supplies, or things like shortages on um, GPUs or RAM, et cetera, all you gotta do is basically add them to your Karma list, and then you'll get email notifications, et cetera, that help you pick them up. So it's worth giving a go. I really like it. So thank you very much. Um, and there you go, that's that's basically that. I just wanna let you guys know, and we'll have that and I'll remind you guys throughout this stuff, but yeah, it's definitely worth checking out Karma. I wanna, any questions, if somebody wants to know, if anything else, thank you very much, Laser. Tier, tier three, 11 months at tier three. Laser's another amazing longtime supporter. So it's so fun to see all of these crazy, like long-term people who like I've now started to recognize. I mean, cause we literally, we, like, we have 900 people here right now and it's nuts to like see um, all of these other individuals, and some of you might be like 900 people. Well, it's on YouTube, it's on Twitch, and it's on Facebook. So there's actually quite a bit of people. Hey, what's up, Noah? How are you, man? Uh, so yeah, that's all. We are gonna do a dad joke. Don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there. Sell me a GPU at MSRP. Dude, I'm sorry. I wish I could. But I, I, I do let you guys know, probably one of the biggest questions I get is DMs on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, mail, you name it. Hey, sell me an, uh, 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 a GPU at MSRP. I wanna be super clear. I have, I am what is called a PC reseller. My license uh, in the state of Washington is specifically on reselling PCs. If I was to sell parts or components individually, that would be breaking my license and I'm un I am not allowed to do that. Now people like Linus and those guys who are basically selling them on their store, if we were to add those electronics to our store and add that as part of my license, then I could do things like that. But again, just to make sure I don't get myself in a lot of legal trouble and just helping one person out or another, that is why I cannot sell you an A GPU at MSRP. Would love to, but A, number one, don't have that many GPUs, and number two, um, not even legally allowed to. So there you go, that's, that's that, I'm gonna answer that question right there. Sell me a PC with an Asus Strix. That is something I can do. I have a single one Uno slot left for the next three months on uh, commission. So if you're interested in actually having me do a commission for a PC, um, all of the details are gonna show up here in a minute in terms of if you wanna basically get a PC done by me, uh, it's a 15% commission fee, and I do not charge above MSRP on any of my parts. Like my parts are basically uh, what you see, the cost of the parts are at on Newegg, which is my, is my obviously, is, they're my sponsor, those are the ones that I use for my part prices for them, so yeah. But anyway, there, there I answered that question right there too. Let's go for there. Um, so yeah, that's all I get um, okay, cool. Well, who's ready to start talking about uh, the parts we're putting in this $9,000 build? I do need to update. Okay, you guys already have 122 subs. Sure, well, there we go. Okay, well, let me update it because you guys just skip. You're like, Roby, forget 50, forget 100. Let's go to 150, jeez. Okay, cool, well, let me update that real quick and then we'll, we'll move on and start talking about parts. Do Okay, here we go. Uh, so we have 122, so I'm gonna end this now. We're on our way to $150 new gift card. 
We need 150, we're at 122. We're gonna, I we set this to the 15 just because only is for the amount of time. Okay, there we go, cool. And today's flavor of ice is lemon lime. Lemon lime for today's flavor of ice. Ice has still not sponsored me. Got a lot of other sponsors, but no lemon lice yet. So we're still working on it. Poncho, thank you very much for the five gifted subs, my friend. 9K is more than what, yes. 9K is a lot of money. Okay, so let's talk about dad jokes real quick, and then we'll start talking about parts. Let's get our dad jokes up. Dad joke time. Dad joke time. Okay, um, let's see. Going to dad jokes. Now, if you are interested in having me read one of your dad jokes, it's got to be clean and family friendly, number one. Uh, but if you want to go on to discord.gg slash robytech, drop into the dad joke section and drop in a dad joke. Love to read them, and I'll give you credit. Unless it's too good, then I'll say I made it up. Um, okay, let me see if I can find one here. I'm going from there. Uh, okay, ran into top of Okay, I'm looking for I'm looking for a good one. Okay, okay, I like this one, and this is from uh, actually the, the the person who dropped this one is from his. This is his icon. Literally, it's just basically this. It says I used to be addicted to soap. But I'm clean now. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the World Health Organization announced that dogs cannot contract COVID-19. Dogs previously held in quarantine can now be released. To be clear, who let the dog out? Who lets the dogs out? That's pretty funny, too. Um, okay. Did you know that the creator of the umbrella was just going to call it Brella? The creator of the umbrella was just going to call it Brella, but he hesitated. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was House of Tom. So thank you very much, Craig Little, uh, Craig Lilly, and House of Tom for those couple ones. Those are pretty good. Uh, yeah, people are like, um, yeah, that was. The, the, I liked, I liked that one. So there we go. He's still saying, um. Okay, let's start talking about parts because that's what everybody really wants to know about. Right now, I'm just going to load up my load up my account here and uh, start talking about all of the parts going into this build. Okay, so at the heart of this system, and this was this was interesting. Like it was it was good um, it was a good conversation with Psycho when we were basically doing this because she just got more and more excited about this build. Like originally when it started out, the budget for this build was seven hundred dollars, and then it was like fifteen hundred dollars, and then it was like seventeen hundred dollars, and then it was nine thousand dollars. Just kidding. That's actually not how it was. at first it was like this one build, and then she's like, you know what? It needs to be more epic, Roby. It has to be more epic. And I was like, well, okay. What do you want in it? And so like we basically, she's like, I want everything, and I want it gold and black, and I want it to sing my name. And I was like, okay, whoa, calm down a little bit. I might be able to. I'm, I can make it gold and black and some of that other stuff, but uh, it goes from here. Uh, but this is the Ryzen seven. Uh, sorry, the Ryzen thirty nine seventy X. This is a sixty four uh, thirty two core sixty four thread. Um, CPU, um, just you know, it comes in at 4.6 gigahertz. Now, one thing I will let you guys know, um, there is a video going up tomorrow on our testing methodology. It talks about how we're gonna be doing benchmarks and stuff. For this particular build, I do have Psycho's permission to run it through the gamut of our testing. So when we're done, there will be a separate YouTube video that's curated that'll talk about uh, building in this case and stuff, but it will have thermals and it will show performance uh, of this particular build. So you guys will be able to see like, how does this $9,000 build specifically on Threadripper perform uh, perform in terms of uh, games, etc. So we sure are gonna be doing that. So don't worry, uh, even though you only see the build today, all of that data is coming. But this is the core of the whole thing. Uh, and this is the Ryzen 3970X Threadripper, absolutely behemoth of a CPU. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll see it uh, here a little later when we actually install it. Um, for the motherboard, um, and it's not an EATX board, which is something that if you guys watch my whole form factor thing on choosing cases, which a lot of you guys have and really enjoyed it, and I thank you for that. Um, we're using the ROG Strix TRX40 XE Gaming. Uh, one thing about Threadripper, uh, specifically that version of Threadripper, um, and now we have the Threadripper Plus uh, CPUs, but this uses a TRX40. Uh, each one of these has had a slightly different in terms of the motherboard, so they, you know, some people are like, oh, I'll just use a TR4. Well, it's not actually TR4, it's TRX. Does still use the same cooling solution, so even though it might, you'll see that my cooler is a TR4 cooler, cooler the actual uh, required motherboard is TRX40. Um, so we're gonna be sticking it in this, uh, in this overall uh, awesome and beautiful looking motherboard with a massive VRM and OLED screens and all of that other stuff. And to, to, to pair it with it, because again, Psycho doesn't do anything, uh, you know, small. Uh, we're throwing in 128 gigs 
of 3200 megahertz, that's right, better for Threadripper, 3200 megahertz Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, uh, right there, so there's 128 gigs. That's a lot of clicks, guys, a lot of clicks. So if you are into the clicks, you're gonna enjoy this particular episode because we're gonna be putting a lot of clicks in there. Now, cooling this bad boy, now I've done, cooling for uh, Threadripper is always an interesting thing, and I know some people have been watching my latest, uh, my builds, my step-by-step -step builds, um, but one of the things that I've really enjoyed is um, one of the best coolers right now, because inter so there's really kind of two, there's actually not that many, there's only three, coolers that are specifically made for the TR4, might be four, but not a ton. Um, one of them is Intermax, and they've got a TR4, their Intermax Liqu Liquitech 2, absolutely garbage AIO. Um, uh, Gamers Nexus did a whole video on it, uh, basically the whole thing gunks up, it's just a terrible AIO. So when you look at a lot of people do cooling, and I even did this with, uh, with the, my crazy um, EATX step-by-step -step build that we did, uh, one of the things that we did is a lot of times you use like other AIO coolers, but, Really kind of getting into air cooling now, Dark Rock, uh, specifically Be Quiet, has this amazing Dark Rock Puro TR4 um, cooler. It fills, covers the entire IHS of um, the Threadripper, um, 240 TDP, uh, 250 watt TDP. That's a lot of, a lot of freaking uh, cooling potential. Um, and we're gonna basically make sure that we got lots of fans intaking a lot of air to make sure that this thing, this puppy stays nice and cool. So we will be able to test this, see how the CPU does. We're gonna be doing it under load, so you'll see how this particular configuration goes. And I'll talk a little bit about airflow in the case here a little bit later. But this is a massive AIO cooler, specifically built for Threadripper. There is a non-TR4 R4 version of this, um, but this is the one we're gonna be using to cool this CPU. For our GPU, because why not? Um, because everything else is awesome. Uh, we're gonna be using the Asus ROG Strix RTX 3090, uh, be, which means you guys do know that that means that we're gonna have to be uh, peeling for over 10 hours, uh, just in all TDP, not TP, not TP, thank you, J-Hack, uh, TDP. Uh, we're gonna be spending over 30 minutes just peeling this, uh, this GPU uh, when we actually get to installing it a little bit later. Uh, we're gonna be using triple, basically uh, it's triple slot power um, for this. So of course we're gonna need a nice powerful uh, 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 power supply. And so we're using the EVGA 1000 watt, uh, the uh, 1000 G5, uh, should be more than enough power for uh, what we're gonna be basically doing for this. Um, so yeah, there's our power supply right there. And then lastly, Oh, you know what, crud. I just realized, cheese and crow. Um, I'm gonna have my son, I forgot the drive, I forgot our hard drive. And then lastly, they're all sitting in my house. Uh, we also are using some new cable extensions. So if you wanted black and gold cable extensions, um, you have links for all this stuff down in your description below or basically in the link uh, that's coming up on uh, Twitch, etc. We're using the Silverstone. We're still gonna be using cable cones for this, but we have all of the Silverstone cable sleeved cables right here. 24 pin, uh, three uh, PCIe, and then two uh, four by four uh, CPU um, to basically make sure we do that. And then finally, the last part is we have two uh, Western Digital Black SN850, so two terabyte, two two terabyte uh, Western Digital SN850 NVMe SSDs. They're just sitting at my house. So I'm gonna text my wife and have my son bring them over right now because I forgot to bring them. Um, uh, let me call her. Let's just call her on the phone. Let's let's bring Mrs. Roby on the phone, guys, because we we can't not finish. We can't finish this build. Bill, uh, we still we're not done. Hey, hey, it's your husband. I'm here at the stream, and we are in, we're in a bit of a we're in a bit of a pickle. Okay. I need I need Aaron to grab me, uh, to uh, on the on the uh, on the parts bench is uh, SN850. So he needs to give me two two terabyte ones. I'll text you. Okay. Okay. I'll send them over. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye. Bye. S in 850s WD black. Okay, so he's on the way with those drives. He's on the way with those drives. And then finally, we gotta make sure that we cool this thing. Um, and she really enjoyed how these look. So uh, we're gonna be using the Corsair QL120s. Uh, they're kind of a good in-between. They're not the best cooling fans, but they're a great in-between fan. 
um, for between noise and cooling. Um, if you wanted to go better cooling and quieter, you could do the ML120, specifically the ML120 Pros. And if you wanted to do noisier, but better cooling, you could do the LL120s. And it sounds like it's actually true that the LL120 whites are actually better cooling than the LL120 blacks, which is pretty funny. So again, this is our build, minus the drives, they're on the way, uh, we'll get those in there. Um, and then let's bring the case over and we'll talk a little bit about the case we're putting it in and how we're gonna be setting up cooling specifically for this build, because I like to do that stuff. And uh, going from there. Now, I know some of you guys may think, it's like, hey, Roby, do you do, you do a lot of this stuff alone, like do you, when you plan these builds. Now, I do plan the builds. Oh, and then uh, I did forget about, we're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of, we're gonna have a lot of, um, we have a lot of potential USBs and things like this. So we have this on standby. It's a Corsair Commander Pro. Um, and so uh, if we do need this, we have it on standby uh, and ready to go. So when you think about just kind of planning your build, little things like that um, are always on the, on, the, on the standby. So we're gonna throw all this stuff over here, kind of get it ready. Here's all our cables. And then we'll grab our case and talk through that here in a minute and strip it down in preparation. Ugh. So there's our GPU. There's our dark rock. Here's our, there we go. And okay, so let's talk about our case. So that's all of our parts minus obviously our case. So we'll talk about our case real quick because that's always fun. Um, so this is the Corsair Crystal 680X. Um, I actually have my personal water-cooled rig is inside of this case. I don't know if some of you guys remember that. Um, and so uh, I have used this, uh, this case before. Uh, this was uh, Psycho's personal selection. Um, we just went through a couple of options. Uh, overall, uh, quite a bit of space uh, in between the glass, all that sort of stuff. So plenty of places for basically fans to pull things through um, as well as that. So let's strip it down. We'll talk a little bit about how we're going to be doing airflow. But first, we're going to kind of strip it down to its bare essentials. Now don't get the wrong idea, guys. This is under 18, still family friendly. It's just a naked case, not anything else. Just a naked case. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's slowly getting the screws out. You know what, actually, I think we actually already peeled. I forgot we already peeled. This 3090, so actually, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of peeling this time. We're going relatively quick. Oh. Okay, let's put, there's so many of these little glass pieces. It's unique. Okay, there's that one. We're gonna take the back off here. So on the back, there's a little couple thumb screws. Uh, take those off. Pops off just like that. One of the things that's really nice about this particular case is um, cable management. Uh, unlike the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic, you do have you do have the same kind of back uh, uh, area for putting in your PSU, um, but there actually is quite a bit more room for doing cable management in this particular case. Now it's not as wide as the um, the um, Lee and Lee. But in terms of just being able to stick stuff in here, um, there's actually quite a bit more and just from a cable management standpoint. We can go ahead and take out our little bit right here. Okay, there we go. So there's our little screws and stuff. Okay, so we got that out of the back there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop this open, just like that. And then there's a screw, something that is unique to this particular build, there's a little screw that holds the whole thing down. So you can't just have this thing fly off. Just, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's a little, like some people may be like, ah, it's annoying, but I think it's kind of nice for Corsair to protect your stuff if you want. You can choose to put it back on if you want to or not. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we're gonna do airflow in this case. Um, so here's our case right here. Um, so the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna do this, um, we're actually going to have, uh, a total of, thank you very much. Aaron was awesome. Hey, look, our drives are here, guys. We got our drives. Two, four terabytes of SN850s. So let me grab my, I like doing this because it's fun. I like doing this right here. Look, got a little, I got a little pointer. Got a little pointer. We're gonna educate you guys. I got a little pointer. I'm like a teacher. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, 
So we have three intake fans. We're also gonna have an intake down, two intake, two uh, 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 QL120 fans down at the bottom, specifically for basically drawing in air. I know it's not a ton, but you're still gonna get some, but we're gonna have two QL120s down at the bottom to draw in air for the, whoa, it's a magnetic one. So it's like, you can get, you like, oh, oh my eye, oh my eye. Oh, you could have, uh, just kidding, no, my eye's fine. It's just, it's all good. Um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna have two QL120s at the back. Those are specifically to cool, uh, to provide cold air to the, um, uh, 39, RTX 3090. Uh, we're gonna have a single, we're gonna be replacing both of these. These are both gonna be 140 millimeter. We're gonna have a QL140 and a QL140. These are gonna be back to the rear behind uh, that giant uh, TR4, mainly so we don't pull it. So uh, intake, uh, five intake, two exhaust, but they're 140s versus 120s. Uh, the big thing is, is that we won't be staling any air uh, from that massive cooler and then it'll be pulling air through here and here. So we should be exhausting quite a bit of air out of that. So two exhaust, a uh, total of five intake. Um, we will obviously have a positive pressure situation um, in the case. And then again, we'll test the thermals. Uh, but all in all, we'll be making sure both the CPU and the GPU get a lot of cold air, um, which will be nice. And the big thing we wanna make sure is just that we're feeding uh, both that air cooler and the um, 3090 with nice cold air. And then both of those things will get sucked out. Now, a lot of people say hot air rises. Guys, it'll be flowing through too quickly through the case. Um, but we should be able to pull uh, air pretty quickly, uh, hot air pretty quickly out uh, with those two fans. So um, go, go from there. So that's our how we're gonna be setting up cooling in here. Let's go and grab our motherboard. This thing is still pretty hefty. I guess I'm not used to that when I strip down a case. You can, I think you can, no, I, I don't remember. Oh, you can pull this off, but I, if I wanna pull this front off, I can, but I don't, it, it's not important. So I'm gonna put this back over on the side and let's uh, keep going here. Oh, wait, I do need to, oh, that's right. They pull off from the, I think there's a, I'm trying to remember how the, yeah, there's a little, I was like, I was trying to remember how I take the fans off the front, but it's just a little, uh, it's a little uh, latch. Um, okay, so let's grab our CPU and our, start putting our motherboard together. Let's get this big bad boy out, top down and go from there. Okay, ooh, ooh, there it is. So here is our motherboard. We were looking at this a little bit earlier, uh, just in terms of making sure that everything was good um, for this particular build. Originally, when we we planned this build, uh, the plan was actually to stick three, um, uh, three two terabyte NVMe SSDs in here, but there's only two M.2 slots. So it went down to two. Okay, there's our... Okay, and then what we'll need out of here is just all of our M.2 screws. There's two, that's all we need. Everything else in here we're not really using. Looks like they've got a mount for, I don't know what that's actually for. Some temp sensors. Oh look, zip ties, I'll take those. And then they've actually got like, if you wanna use like a, an adapter for your um, front panel connectors, you have that option as well, um, which is pretty cool. So there you go, that's all of our stuff that we're gonna be taking out of here. This is gonna go over here and ready. Okay, so here is our motherboard with that really massive uh, socket. Now let's walk through real quick, because you guys are probably like, hey, I've never seen, who, who has seen a Threadripper motherboard before? Because I mean, not a lot of people see these. They're a little bit different than what you're used to. Let's be honest, but who's, who's the first time I've ever seen a Threadripper motherboard? Yeah, holy RAM slots, exactly. So um, yeah, cool, so first time. So this socket right here is called the TR4 socket. Um, it looks very similar. Again, it's very similar to the Threadripper. Um, it uses a torque wrench for basically our dual installation. So this will actually be a very unique um, installation, CPU installation experience. Something you, if you haven't seen me do it before, um, I think the last time we did this was in December. Oh no, yes, the last time we did this was actually in December. So this will be a little bit unique. We actually, this supports quad channel RAM. We're only gonna be sticking dual channel in there, but this is quad channel RAM. You can support up to, it's probably 512. It's 512 gigs, I'm guessing more than likely in terms of the amount of RAM. We're gonna be sticking 128, uh, 128 um, uh, megs of RAM sorry, 128 gigs of RAM uh, inside of this uh, particular build. Um, there are, a, one of the things you do have to pay a specific attention to uh, in using a uh, board like this is that, um, again, um, you wanna stick them in specific slots if you only have four DIMMs or if you only have, um, 
four dims or you only have two dims, um, there are very specific slots you wanna stick those in uh, when you install it. Um, there, uh, outside of this, um, a lot of people are used to very different looking boards. A lot of times these boards have things like EPS power connectors in different places. In fact, most of us are used to seeing these EPS uh, CPU power all on one side, but in this particular case, they're actually on two sides. Um, this has got an active VRM cooling solution. Obviously, um, this is more of a workstation board and these have a very massive VRMs. Not to say that it's, it's a lot of people potentially overclocking, but there's just a lot of phase power that's going into a, a CPU of this caliber. Um, over here on the uh, right, you'll notice our 24 pin uh, ATX power. Uh, up here in the top right, hidden, but protected because, because, RGB is the most important connector on any motherboard. We know that. The more RGB you have, of which this build has so much, we're getting a two to 300, mil, 300 million percent boost in overall performance capabilities, just given the additional RGB. In fact, we are gonna be showing, we are gonna be doing a video. We are gonna be doing a video showing that RGB does in fact improve overall performance. So stay tuned, stay tuned, it's gonna prove that this is true. So um, over here, down here, we've got our uh, USB-C connection. Um, we also have a USB 3.2 that's on the side right here. Um, we also have uh, what is essentially eight SATA connections. So if you're gonna use those three and a half inch or two and a half inch uh, SATA SSDs or hard drives, you've got that option there. Um, we, you're gonna see that this actually has multiple USB 3.2. Down here in the bottom, we have another USB 3.2. So for like those Lee and Lee uh, ROG, uh, sorry, Lee and Lee Dynamics, you can actually plug in both of them. We've got two USB 2, again, the most important connectors, a five volt and a 12 volt addressable RGB header. I mean, why, I mean, I don't like, this thing is gonna be so powerful. Uh, something that is super interesting um, on this is that this does have a TPM and a TPU chip. Uh, basically, TPMs are used for basically encrypting things on like, uh, for like BitLocker, et cetera. This also includes a TPU chip, something that you'll only see with a workstation. Um, we've got two additional fan headers. Uh, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six fan headers on this uh, on this MOBO. We've also got our HD audio. We've got one, two, three. That's count them. One, two, three, by 16. These are not by eight. These are all three by 16. So these are full, full blown, full bore, um, full lane PCIe uh, slots. So you've got three of them by 16, a single by four, uh, and then you've got two M.2s as well, uh, plus an actively cooled uh, cooling solution as well. So those are three by 16. Yeah, that's right. All three are by 16 uh, slots right here. Um, and then again, like I said, it's got dual intake uh, active cooling uh, for the VRM as well. For IO, you're also gonna see just a buttload, two and a half gig um, uh, LAN connection, just a ton of USB 3. It's also got BIOS flashback as well, um, plus all of the, the great audio and all that sort of stuff. But let's go and get this peeled and then we'll start, uh, we'll start getting this motherboard put together, actually put inside. There we go right there. Peel number one. Oh, and by the way, the other thing is uh, I did forget to mention, which is right here. You'll see this is an OLED, uh, and this OLED, instead of having like, some people are like, well, where's like the active status? Uh, this right here will show active status uh, real time. So you'll get things like CPU temperatures and stuff like that. Now understand a lot of people see this and they'll say, oh, like uh, the CPU temperature differs from what I might see on um, on something like, for instance, uh, the uh, Kraken Z73 or something like that. And that's because these there can be different CPU. There could be CPU diode temperature, CPU core temp, all sorts of stuff. So again, they might actually see different ones and it might be actually reading them a little bit different. So just as an FYI, sometimes if that might pop up, not that'll be a problem with this particular build. Okay, so this is that's everything uh, on the MOBO. I hope you learned something. Always like to be entertaining and educational. That's what we try to do here on Roby Tech. So yeah, it's going from here. Yeah, me chilling with my GT710. Oh man, whoo, that lemon lime, baby. That lemon lime, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our thread ripper right here. Here it is right here. One more peel left, what? Oh no, probably multiple. Oh, we got a peel right here too. Oh, you're right. Let's go back to the top down. Guys, I almost, 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 almost shortchanged you. What was I doing? There we go. There's that peel. Got it done. Okay, right, peel, peel done. Oh, that peel is good. It looks like everything is good now. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Slower? <clears throat> slower? What are you talking about? Oh, slower peel. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's open up our thread ripper. It's opening. How's that? Is that good? Is that slow? Slow? Is that slow enough? The logo? The logo's peeled. I already peeled it. Oh, okay, there we go. That's open. Um, the logo's already peeled. It's just got a little, it's got a little, got a little uh, smudge on it. But yeah, no, the logo was peeled. Clean up that little smudge for you. Maybe yeah, that's what's giving you some, giving you some OCD there. Yeah, the, peel, the logo's peeled. I don't think there's another logo that I can see. No, everything else looks good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oi. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this out. Just like so. And then in the bottom of this, this is what, when you talk about installing your Ryzen, your Threadripper, this is the thing that's unique. You actually need a torque wrench to do your installation. So we need to make sure we pop that out. You don't need anything else out of this. And then what we're gonna do is, we already opened this just to make sure we could. Uh, how do I? I did this already, and then I wanted to make sure it was all sealed, and now I can't remember how I do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there. CPU's out. Pops off. Ugh, a little guard, uh, which usually goes right here. Just popped off. This little guard goes right here. Yep, just like this. So that's the little guard comes out, and then, just like this, there is our Threadripper CPU. So... Now, something we always do with builds like this, um, just because of the cost of the components, and we don't want to have like one of those sad moments, is uh, we always test them um, <laughs> because uh, we want to make sure it works. Um, because you don't build a nine thousand dollars system and then you're like, oh gosh. And so we always uh, we always run both the GPU and CPU. So the C the GPU actually might already be peeled as well, um, just because we want to make sure. And when we put a system like this together, it's been benched and all that stuff beforehand. And we've already, I think we've already actually already updated the, uh, um, the BIOS on this already too. Okay, cool. So now there's that. I'm gonna put this back in here. I do that. Okay. Put this back in here. Oh, I, I was like, this is wrong. Put that back in here. There we go. And then put this, what am I doing? I'm on, I'm, on, I'm, I'm I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Get that back. Cool. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our CPU installed. So right here on the CPU, you'll actually see, let's zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. You actually see uh, where it says open and close. It might be a little shiny, but you see where it says open three, two, one, close one, two, three. What are you gonna do is you're gonna take your little uh, your your little torque wrench. And you're gonna start with three, and you're gonna loosen this bad boy up. So there's three. Same thing with this one too. And finally with one. Okay, and once you have those completely loosened, give it a second. And then this will pop up just like that. And there's these little two blue, little two blue attachments. You're gonna take this, lift up. You're just gonna pull this little bit out. And so there you go, that pops out like that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thread ripper. There's a little track along the side. You're just gonna slide it in, making sure that you hit this along the tracks in the side of the case. And you're just gonna push it down. Make sure it's all the way seated. Um, interesting. Oh, geez, okay. Then you're gonna remove this. I was like, wait, that's not closing. Yeah, you're gonna make sure you remove that. And then now you're going to set this down like that. And then you're gonna close this down like this. Whew, yeah, the plastic cover. I was like, that's not supposed to do this. Okay, now it says on the pop, it says top, it says to close, one, two, and three. It's gonna start, now what you do is just start one, and then go to two, and then go to three. And then once you've got them all started, then you'll finish torquing them down. So there you go, he's got them all started. 
And you're gonna go until, what'll happen is you'll get to a point and you'll feel it. The wrench will stop. And then you'll see that little click. That's how you know it's all the way done. Now you're gonna do that with the other two. There you go, and then finally the third. And there you go. Now our CPU is installed and you guys have now seen how to install a Threadripper. Okay, next up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, it's time. It's time to take all this RAM and put it in this slot. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen all these going on here. 128 gigs. So many dims. There it is right there. How am I getting it done? Okay. Oh. There it is. All the Rams. All the Rams. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start popping out all the Rams. So many dims. There it is right there, all the rams. Okay, we're gonna stick all this down. Okay. There's that. Oh, you know what, Roby, Jesus and Crow. You hurried yourself and you shouldn't have done that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply open all these and we're gonna start putting them in. One, one, one ram dim, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, two, little bit of time. Two ram dims, ah, ah, ah. There we go, next up, our next box of ram. Here's number three, I mean four, if I can count. I can barely count, can't count ram dims. There we go, there's number four right there, okay. Learn to count, Robe. E, Robe. Learn to see your name, Robe. You're on fire today. Okay, so here's those. Next up, more RAM. We need more RAM. RAM. It's gonna take like an hour just to open all the RAM. RAM. These are like beautiful RAM. I love these dims. I saw uh, Chris, I, I know CKCC has a bunch of these that we might do. I think we might water cool them even, which is crazy. All sorts of it. Another dim of RAM. One more dim of RAM. Multiple RAM dims. RAM dim dimming. Wow, that was not what I meant to say, sorry. <laughs> Stop getting yourself in that. Well, okay, show some RAM. I'll show you the RAM, don't worry. I will show it out. I'll have it all listed out. I did not mean to say that word, those words, so I apologize. I'm not drinking, I'm drinking lemon lime. Yes, I'm drinking lemon lime, but that's it. Okay. Okay, I will show you all the RAM. That is important. Okay. So you guys wanna see all the RAM? Here it is. All that RAM ready to go inside of the case. So now we've done is we've basically lifted up all of these and the way you're gonna put in the RAM is you're gonna see a, a little slot in the dim, like so. You're gonna line up that little slot, just like this, and you're using both fingers, on both sides, just, oh, that was a good one. That was a good click. And now we're gonna do that and repeat that seven more times. Oh, so good, so good. One more time. Oh, so good. So click, where's my clicks? Where's my clicks? Where's my click, uh, my click uh, thumbs, my, uh, my click uh, emotes that people have? We got them. Click, that's right. Oh, let's, oh, 
This is where you don't do it right. Okay, for this one, you split it around the other way. You gotta line it up with the dim. Boom. Same thing. Oh, so good. Oh, there it is again. One more time. And we're done. Okay. There's all our RAM. Next thing we're gonna do now is we're going to install our four terabytes. Guys, four terabytes of Gen 4, PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSDs. There it goes, four terabytes right here, guys. So like, not only is it fast, it's very fast. A lot of fast. we go there's that one i'm installing blink oh for sure i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm definitely got to get blinker fluid Do the fans play music? I don't think the fans play music. They're not like the gym fans. Uh, I'm not gonna raid zero this. I mean, all in all, that's just like why I, it wouldn't for, I mean, I guess you could if you really wanted super fast, but all in all, like it's not, there's nothing that's going to take advantage of it. It's not gonna really dramatically increase, increase your speed for reading or anything like that. So you're not getting a ton by doing raid zero on this um, outside of the possibility of potentially uh, losing your, uh, losing all your data when one of them fails instead of having four terabytes of your own. So no, I don't plan on RAID zeroing. Um, okay, let us grab our screwdriver here. Okay, we're gonna unscrew these. Psycho, you enjoying yourself? You having fun? I know she's she's been very excited about the build. Okay. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our we're gonna be go ahead and put our. Um, gonna go ahead and put in our standoffs just like this. There's two standoffs for both of these M.2s. Oh my God, people are like really freaking out about the lack of RAID 0. She can do whatever she wants if she wants to. Okay, here we go. There's a little slot in the PCB. We're just gonna slide that in the little slot right here. There we go, right there. Then again, same thing with this one. Also slide in a little slot. Like that, and then you've got basically we're at two ter or four terabytes ready to go. Zoom in, you guys can see that a little bit. You guys need more tech porn. Wow! There you go, some little bit more tech porn, so we can get that side by side SN850 WD installations right there. Boom. There we go, in. Now we're gonna take our two, we're gonna peel. There's one. And two. See? Okay. Now we're gonna put this down. I think that's all the way on. I don't know. Stay on. There we go. Making sure that's lined up and in. Okay. Okay. There we go, M.2's install, so we now have four terabytes, 3970X, four terabytes of storage, 
128 gigs of RAM, and a partridge in a pear tree. We have everything. Now we just gotta put in our cooler. Time to put in our cooler, yo. <clears throat> okay, going to cam link now. This is where we get to see, where's the flux capacitor going? It's right here, it's right there. Flux capacitor. Okay, so let's grab our massive, massive cooler. Look at this bad boy. Dun, 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 dun. We are gonna keep the instructions out because I am not afraid to look instructions. Pull all this stuff out. That's all our installation stuff. Installation overdrive. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna pull out our cooler. Oh, look at that. There's our screwdriver. That's a nice screwdriver too. Extra fan. There we go, there we go. This should have, and again, this is gonna fill the whole socket. Oh, we're gonna have to put the, the fan up a little bit. Uh-oh. That is not gonna clear. Wait a minute. What? Does this need low profile RAM? We might have to switch coolers. We might have to switch coolers. Yeah, I was a little worried about that and it was just, we just got the cooler in today and I was, I didn't check the RAM clearance. Dang it. We need low profile RAM to do that. So we're gonna have to switch coolers. Which luckily I, we're just gonna have to switch to an AIO, which is okay. Or hold on, let me try this. Hold on one sec. The cooler just came in today. So I was a little worried about that. How does this come out? Wow, these are crazy. This is, I'm gonna see how this works. It looks like this comes up and goes out still. I don't think this is gonna, hold on one sec. Wife needs something. Do, do, do. One sec guys, wife needs something. Okay, I need to accept my daughter's screen time request. Okay, we gave her more time. Okay, cool. I don't think, I'm trying to see if I can figure out how to get this off, but I don't think there's anything, I was seeing if the fan or anything like that, but it's like, it's like, you could only use, in this case, if you rotate the fan, like it's not going to, it, like actually, no, you might actually, dang it, I need to get this fan off. I think it's actually might still work. There we go. Okay. Yep, it will. Okay, we just need to move the fan up. But yes, this does actually fit. Yep, this does actually fit. Cool, we just have to move the fan up. So the fan will just be higher, which is okay. Yep, so it will fit and you just have to move the fan up. That's what I thought, okay. I cannot tell if that is on there or not. One sec, guys. I, mean, I can't tell. I want to see something. I can't actually tell. I do have a backup solution in case this happened, but I wanted to use a full TR4 
keep cover. I want to just see. Ugh. No. Okay. It's not. It does not fit. It does not clear. We're gonna have to switch coolers. Dang it. It's unfortunate. That ram is just too high. It was like G-Skill or something like that. Well, I guess, yeah, if it was G-Skill or something like that. I wonder if, I'm curious. I'm gonna see something real quick, guys. One sec. That is. That's uh, not. Okay. I have a 128 gig of G skill. I just wanted to see if the G skill actually ended up being, if it would have cleared with G skill. The heat spreaders are lower. Yeah, it's specifically, yeah, it's specifically Dominator. Yeah, that would have been, so that's G-Skill Trident Z, and then that would have cleared very easily with G-Skill. So it's just that Dominator RAM is so tall, so tall, the IHS, the, the heat, Dissipator for that dominator is so tall that uh, it will not fit. So we're gonna have to go to an AIO, which is fine. That is okay. We need to grab our AIO thing. Okay, I'm gonna put this away quickly and then we're just gonna switch gears. That is unfortunate, would have been fun. Okay, put this back and then we're gonna rush and grab an AIO. I just chose too big RAM, RAM is too big. Well, we've learned a valuable lesson here, guys, which is A, have a backup plan, but also B, check your RAM clearances on your AIO coolers, which was, I didn't, I didn't remember, I was looking at Juice Skill, but I didn't look at the Corsair Dominator. That's my own fault, but it'll be fine. We have a backup and we're good. Trying to figure out this. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and then grab an a grab a uh, cooler real quick.
Okay, um, let's grab a, let's put this back. Again, I just want to see if I had if I had chosen G skill, but the problem is, is that this is a 128 get kit. That is not four by eight. It's uh, 128 gig and four dims. So it's not actually, it's the same thing, but it's not, it's not gonna fill all the dims, which is not going to, which is not what I want. Okay, we'll figure it, we'll get that put together later. Okay. Okay, let's grab the backup cooler, which we always have ready to go. And that is our ZRZ series. We don't want to use a liquid tech. That would not be good. We can use any one of these, but we want to make sure I, I kind of want to do low profile for this one. I'm trying to see which cooler I want to use. That's what I want. Okay. Get it out, guys. One sec. Yeah. Okay. Do I happen to have? The question I have now is that. This is changing our airflow here a little bit. So I'm just grabbing to make sure. Yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. Good. This is why you have extra parts on hand, guys. Okay. Okay. So we're going to change our cooling for this. We're going to be switching to a Z7, a Z63, 280 millimeter AIO. We'll be top mounting the AIO. The top, obviously. Then we need our bracket for our cooler. Just going to find the bracket now. You know, our AIO, our, br our bracket, the brackets come are different. Just gotta find the bracket. At least it's easy to install. There we go. We're doing the testing. I gotta grab our bracket real quick and then we'll get going. looking for real quick guys is I where we put the mounting bracket for the AIO for the for the AIOs which is inside of our other motherboard oh, there it is to find our mountain bracket real quick. Just dropping stuff.
There it is. Found it. Okay, got it. Okay, we have everything we need now. Okay. Now I do have to test real quick because this is a thread ripper. So we have a one more potential clearance issue here. We have all the stuff we need now. Okay, let's pop this back in. I have to test one thing with this particular AIO. We're gonna go top down here. Because I wanna use this one because I wanna give her, these are usually what I use just because they give you the displays and all that stuff, um, which is always better. Okay, popping our ram in again real quick. There we go. I want to make sure that the that I have enough room for the cooler for this. Uh, the this has a very large head. Luckily, I have a ton of these AIOs, but I just need to make sure I can get this to fit. Okay, cool. So here's our bracket. This is specifically our bracket for um, AIOs. These come with, so this comes with every thread ripper, and this basically allows you to put um, a cooler on your thread ripper. Okay, AI, AIO, yeah, we've changed. Everything has changed all of a sudden, which is fine. It happens. Luckily, I'm a Professional builder and we have parts. Okay, now I just want to make sure, real quick, how we're gonna load our cooler here. So I'm gonna take this off. Obviously, it's got a pre-applied thermal paste. So we're just gonna take this off though. What we have to figure out is how. So the head for this thing is really big. So I'm gonna do is figure out how I want to mount. I think I'm gonna to have to mount it like this, but I need to make sure that the cabling and everything for this will work. This is a different. This is a different. Um, if not, we'll go to a different 280 millimeter AIO. But okay. So again, what I'm looking for here is just making sure that my doesn't touch right now, but there are two, there's a there's two cables that you have to plug in. That I need to make sure will work with this particular build. Or I'm gonna have to do something else. So we're gonna make sure they fit. Always the, the trick with Threadripper. Oopsie. And then I'm gonna just make sure this goes in and then if it goes in, we're good. Okay, so I just want to make sure when I do this. Yeah, see how it's putting pressure on the side plates there? Putting some compression on the ram on the right side. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna. Yeah, that's not. It's gonna push too much. Okay, 
That was one thing I wanted to check with this particular motherboard. So we're gonna have to switch to a different cooler. Just these are so fat. Okay. Whoopsie. Okay, and that goes in there, goes in there. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I gotta think through this a little bit more. Okay, Psycho, there's two things I could do. And I gotta talk to Psycho, cause it's gotta, it's gotta get figured out. One thing I could do is I could literally switch to G-Skill RAM, and then we could do the deep rock the way you went there. So we could switch this to G-Skill. Um, I'd have to order a separate kit, but we'll do a, a one to build for here, get this finished, get a second kit in. And then we can do what we were gonna do for the Threadripper. Um, or I can try and find another uh, 280 millimeter cooler, but it's just not gonna be as nice as a Z. So I had a backup, but I was worried that the just the gap is too tight for this particular RAM. So if you could set me, let me know on Discord what you'd like to do, and then I'll do what you want to do. We can still fill all the slots for the sake of the show, but then we'll replace it with an actual real kit. Because I don't have the, the 280s that I want to use are not my favorites. And I have some 240s, but I'd, I'd be a little bit worried about not giving it enough cooling. Wait a minute. I actually think. Two of these, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna see what she wants to do and then we'll figure it out. It's the RAM that's the problem. We can switch to another one and then replace it. I'm letting Psycho tell me. And then we'll we'll make it we'll do a plan and get going. She hasn't responded. Oh, switch to RAM. Okay. We're gonna switch to RAM, guys. So we're gonna do a quick RAM switch and then we'll replace her and go to 128 gigs of this. But we're gonna switch to G Skill. Just because the IHS and then we'll do the cooler, the better cooler. Which I think is the right call. Okay.
Okay. So we're gonna hit the ram. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Ram clearance. Okay. So she responded. And I think I actually have a kit that she's gonna enjoy. That's gonna make her happy. And this, this like the clearance to get these out is like crazy. Okay, so I came up with an idea that I think is actually gonna look better. So you guys will see it here in a second. Don't worry, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be worth the wait. Not that this ram wasn't, but I just had an idea because I have a bunch of gold G-Skill Triton Z, which this is a black and gold build. So we're going to do gold G-Skill Triton Z. And then we'll replace this Dominator with the gold G-Skill Triton Z. which is going to look better. I mean, it's going to look good. It's just, it's around the same price. Actually, it's probably more expensive, but do it right. Okay, so let's get that G-Skill Triton Z, the gold. Ugh. Okay, I'm, I'm grabbing my gold ram. Not that one. Okay, we got two kits of gold ram. Finding all the RAM, guys. One sec. Just got to get it all out of my. There we go. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do in the meantime, luckily I have enough kits, but we'll replace hers so she'll actually have it, but here we go. You guys ready? We're gonna get more blingy. More blingy, more awesome. This is gold, G-Skill Triton Z which I think will be the better choice given she's got a golden black build. So here we go, 128 gigs of 3,600 megahertz. Oh, let's make sure it's in right. 128 megahertz or 3,600 megahertz. It's actually faster. CL16.
I need to put these in the right. Jeez, oh, robes. There we go. There we go. Those are good solid clicks too. There's a peel for you. Look at that. Peel. Actually, want this one here. There we go. There we go. Thank God I have all these parts. Okay, next up. That's shiny. There we go. You know, I think I... No, oh, these weren't peeled either. Any peels everywhere, guys. Well, you wanted gold. I think this is Psycho's plan all along. Just really wanted like gold RAM. There we go. I think this is, I think, like I said, I think this was her plan all along. She's like, I really want gold RAM, Roby to match the gold build. So make sure my build is extra blingy. And then she like went and made sure, like worked with Deep Rock to make sure that the, uh, the, the cooler wouldn't fit and all that stuff. I'm like, wow, that's shady, Psycho, that's shady. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so sharp. Oh. Click. Okay. We're cooking with gas now. Everything is back on schedule. We just had to switch one thing, which is the RAM. Actually, she really wanted extra peels as well. She's just like, she wanted everything. She just, it wasn't good enough for her. Oops. I'm putting it in backwards. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. There you go. 128 gigs of G-Skill Trident Roll Z. At 3,600, we'll go down to 32 for her kit, but just so we have the build for now. Yeah, real diamonds and gold, guys. Okay, now, got that squared. Now let's go back and get our actual cooler that we were gonna do before, because it fits now.
Okay, and we're gonna mount our cooler. You guys ready? I'm gonna show you the magic that supposed, was supposed to happen an hour ago. <laughs> Thank gosh. Okay, here we go. This is what was supposed to happen before. Oh, look at that, it fits just fine. I want to make sure it's the right direction, but yeah. There you go, it fits just fine. Look at that. First try, yeah, exactly. And there you go, you can see it on here. We're gonna switch the fan, because the fan's gonna be, be blowing that way, which is fine. But point is, is that it, it actually is, it actually does clear now and is going to cool this thing the way it should. <clears throat> okay. So let us get our stuff out. Actually get our whole thing mounted now. We do need to put thermal paste on it so you guys get to have like a little Bob Ross moment. We're gonna cover the entire IHS. We're gonna do some full blown thermal stuff. We can put this back in the box. We'll do that later. Okay, so let's grab our spreader. put these in the right place, obviously. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna go in the middle. Like I said, this is now currently installed on the wrong side, but we'll fix that here in a minute. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Okay, getting the fan off here. Okay, now. It's gonna make sure I install this correctly. I've never done one of these particular ones, so. Okay, assemble, this is a TR4, okay, so pretty straightforward. Just need our cable stuff here. Let's go to top down, get this stuff installed so we can get it in. There's our mount stuff, and then we have our, so there's a middle bar. Okay, so here's our thermal paste which you guys always love. Make sure this is nice and spread. The way that you do for th thread ripper is you basically want to make an X. And we'll do a little pea size in the middle. It's going to be most of this, most of this thermal paste, it looks like for them specifically. Okay, and then what we're going to do we're going to start spreading. Get it all across the top of our AHS. There we go. Getting our thermal paste all the way across.
we go. Okay, so we've got a thermal, we've got it all spread across. that kind of off there now. Now what I'm gonna do is just one more pass just to make it a little bit thinner. There we go. Okay, so now it's nice and thin. You want to just make sure it's nice and thin is what I'm looking at right here. I'm just taking the excess and then making sure it's all gone. There we go. Cool. Okay, now we've got that. So we're gonna unscrew these top things. So going to cam link, so, gonna, so there's two little screws on the top here. I'm unscrewing off the top of the, off of the top of this. So I took two of these screws on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, which are the attachments for the, for the whole thing. Go to top down again. They're watching a very unique. Like I said, we don't do. I don't do a ton of thread ripper builds. Man, that board is heavy. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this like this. Oh wait, I was like, wait, we got key and key key component of this whole thing. So you put these on each one of these. Like so. Okay, now we grab our crossbars. Take our screws. Screw this on. There's that one. Okay, there's that one. Same thing with the bottom one, just putting in our crossbar. There we go. Next one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so crossbars are in. Now what we do, we take our really long bar, which is somewhere around here, dumped it and put it somewhere like a maniac. Oh, here it is. So we take this, this is our crossbar. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, that's gonna sit across. So what I'm doing, showing you is like, it just basically sits across this middle, right down here. It's just a little groove for it. So it sits across the middle, just like that. So it's sitting across that middle. You're gonna set that down like that. Oops. I'm gonna put it the right way though. Oh man. Shoot. Okay. That was good. Next time, Roby, pay attention to which direction you put it on. We're gonna re fix our thermal paste real quick.
Might be asking, what did you do? Well, I put it on, not the right way. Put it on backwards. We're gonna clean the bottom again. Oh, I also forgot to peel this, so there's that too. <laughs> wow, Roby. Well, that all is working out much better. Okay, now it's peeled. Now it's peeled. Now it's right. Now we got this thing on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this right now. Okay, good. Now it's on. Okay, we're screwing it down. And I'm not doing top down because it's like basically you can't see. It's like I'm just showing you. I screw these down until this goes in. Same thing with this side. Okay, now we have our cooler on. Wow, that was a process. Okay. There we go. And we have a big, nice, fatty cooler. Okay, now I got a little bit of stuff on here. Fix real quick. Okay. Cooler's on. Okay, now we need to install the fans. We have two of them. We have a 120. That's gonna go here across the front like this. And then the 140 goes in the middle. It's gonna basically go in the middle across the whole center thing right here. This is gonna go in here. So that's what we're working on right now. We're gonna mount our 120. And so this is gonna go into, if we go to top down, this is gonna plug into CPU. Actually, there should be a splitter. Yeah, okay. There's our CPU stuff right here. There we go, okay. This is gonna go right here. And again, what we want is we want airflow to move through here, so that's how we've set it up. Okay, so there's that one, other side. Okay, so there, there's that fan installed. Okay, next one, our 140. Again, making sure air is blowing through it like this. Hand it through. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna grab our 140. Doesn't really matter. There we go, lift it up. There we go, that one's in. Other side. Looks like it's too long, hold on. The shorter one. Yeah, this one. Make sure you grab the right fan. Tension thing. Okay, there we go. And now our cooler is installed. That has got plenty of cooling power now. What we're gonna do is take our two tops. And get that. Okay, so now our cooler's in. Now we're just gonna do one more thing just to make sure. We're gonna hook this up and then we're gonna hide a uh, cable tie, the tie, cable tie these to kind of 
hide him. What we're going to want to do is, that's probably going to be the best thing here. There we go. Okay. Again, that'll be black on black, so it'll be a little bit hidden. Here, we just don't have a lot of place, like on this crazy cooler, to like hide cables there. There we go. I compress it. There we go. Okay. And then it'll be sitting down on top and then actually what I'm gonna do is one more thing. Let me go up. Keep it against the top here. There we go. Okay, that'll keep it against the top. Okay, there we go. Now our cables are controlled. And there we go. She gets this really cool be quiet screwdriver and everything else gets put away. Guys, we actually have, we're actually moving forward. Okay. Where's our, oh, there it is. And okay, now we can prep our case, get our thing in. The good thing is, is there's no AIO, so it's just basically gonna be, this is like the cooling's actually installed. And it's beautifully cooled, which makes me happy. Okay, Threadripper is cooled now. Will be great for gaming. We got all the RAM like we're supposed to. Okay, next up, what we're gonna do is we're going to prep our case. Oh my gosh, it's so big and so hefty. <sighs> Let's get our case prepped and get all of this stuff done. Uh, here we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get all our fans. So uh, rip out the fans real quick. Go to side camera. Make sure it's lined up on what you guys see, so you guys can see it. There you go. So we're gonna take out fans, get all of our new fans installed for airflow on the bottom, all that sort of stuff. So we've got our two exhausts here. We got three for the bottom, two for the, I mean, three for the top, two for the bottom, which would be fine. So we have a lot of fans going into this. We don't have those. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just quickly, using our wow stick, get our fans done. Oops, it's frozen. That's not good. Sorry guys, fix that. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna use wow stick real quick. Oh, I need to put our next goal up. What the heck? Okay, getting our fan out here real quick. And luckily this actually has a six fan, the case actually comes with a six fan hub. I actually think we're gonna be fine on fans. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Just working our way through all of the fans. Okay. 
Okay, so our rear fan, but before I put this in, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just because it's fun, is I'm gonna go ahead, actually I'm gonna pull this out. Let's go and get our motherboard mounted, because that's just more interesting. But what I have is I have a little bracket in the front, I just slide these slide out of. Actually, this doesn't have a fan hub. It has an RGB hub, not a fan hub. Uh, I need, where is it? There it is. Oh, it does. It has a built-in Commander Pro. Never mind. Oh, that's rad. This actually has a built-in Commander Pro. I didn't know that. Okay, so our fans are out. Okay. This is definitely going to be good. Okay, let's go ahead and put our Kate. Let's go ahead and put our our PSU. We're gonna go ahead and put our motherboard in, and then start putting all our fans around it. Okay, so let's go to top down. This case is so deep. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now that is one thing I did check was the clearance of the cooler for the, in the case. Like I did know that was gonna work, um, but uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly get this screwed in, because then we can do all of the other parts around it. And then we'll hook up, uh, like you said, there's plenty of room around the motherboard for all of this. Okay. Grab our Mobo screws. Okay, here we go. Get these installed real quick. And the good thing is, is that this one right here in the underneath is just a pin. So not as big a deal. Okay. That's weird. You can't even, I guess you'd have to like, in order to get to that one, you'd have to take off the... This thing is, seems like it's... Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try not taking that off. I'm gonna do it with a different tool. This is where your iFixit comes in handy.
and use my bendy. Let's see. Oh, that fell through. Okay, that's awesome. There we go. Okay, so our screws are in now, including one that fell through. Okay, now we can just work on our fans and get our fans installed, get our cooling done. This is where the RGB is gonna come in, obviously. So we're gonna start, let's start with our rear exhaust QL fan. Uh, so we'll, we're actually, sorry, we'll start with our, we'll start with our bottom two QL fans. Okay. And these are going to be intake. These are going to be intake for the GPU. Maximum RGB, of course. Okay. Okay, that takes care of that one. Let's grab our next one. Okay. Get our little bit off here. And dang it. Okay, next one goes right here. Next intake. Oh yeah, this is great places to run fan cables down here at the bottom. Just like that. Grab our... This, oh, this does have it. Okay, let's just use these first. And we are at the end of two hours, because that was the last song, so let's update that, and I'll update the giveaway. Get that done. Okay, let's update our song. Let's get our music started again. Okay, started that. Let's get our giveaway fixed. We're at 152. There we go, okay. Whew. This has uh, been a little bit of a roller coaster here but it's going to be epic when it's done. They're always the best things are. Okay, let's return that so it's the right way. Oh, I need to make sure the fans, these are the right direction. Okay, cool, they're lined up. Just wanna make sure the bottom, they're, they're in the same direction.
and we have peels to do. I'll do those here in a second. So many peels in this build. Peel ram, peel motherboard, peel fans. All peel, very appealing, this whole build. Next one, peel. Peel, okay. Okay, next up, let's throw our QL140s in. More peels coming, more, more screws coming, more all the fun stuff. Okay, these are big exhaust fans. The plan here. So again, just maximizing airflow here for the build. As you can see. Okay, so peels here. There's one, big peels here. There's two, anything with this one. One, two, okay. Okay, so our exhaust fan is gonna go right here. Oops. Shove that in there. Okay, now I need my wow stick, which, oh, there it is. It's trying, the wow stick's trying. Okay, there's that. And we have one more exhaust out of the top here. Oops, well, it'd help if I put it in the right place. Okay, 
At least I caught it on my first screw. We're gonna push this more towards the center. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now all of our exhaust, all of our fans, at least these fans are in. Now we just gotta replace our three in the front and then all of our fans will be installed. We're gonna run this down and over. I'm gonna hide that in the the Okay, we're gonna pull these through. Okay, cool. So all of our fan stuff is pulled through here. Okay, next up, we're gonna put this down. Oh, it's just gotten so heavy already. Now we're gonna create our three intake fans. These are all gonna be QL120s. I put these away. Okay, let's bring our table up because it's crazy low right now. Last set of fans, guys. Okay. Okay, so move that out of the way. Okay, let's grab three QL one twenties. Okay, there's that one. That one. And there is that one. Okay, so we got all of our fans. Okay, so now, untwisty tie. It's like just the prep for getting the fans done. You have to do all the fans. Okay. Okay, well now we peel. 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 
peel. And peel. Okay. Turn it over. Almost done with a peel. Jeez, I'm crow. Come on, peel. Peel. Okay, last peel of the fans. Okay, got it. Yay. Oh, whoa, there's two peels on this one. Oh, never mind. That thing just came off. Oh, wow, that's like a super sharp. Okay, cool. Now I'll line these up where they need to be. There they are. Okay. Take this. Oh, crud. I want this to go in like that. So which means these have to go. Yes, I have them right. They're supposed to go in like this. Okay, cool. Just don't want to put them in backwards. Okay, last. We just get a he's the last of the fans. Okay. Man, that is really not. Okay, now we can get these on. So now we have our fans, we can put these inside and we have to replace the lighting node inside of the case, but then we'll have all our fans installed. Oh, oh. There we go, okay. Cam link. Okay, what I'm gonna do real quick, run these all down to the center. And then give them a to make them a little easier to control here. Okay. Makes it a little easier to landlock in here. There we go. Okay. Now they're 
zip tied down so I can get them easily into the in the case here. So now you can watch that happen. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Now all of our fans are in, all of our stuff is configured correctly. Okay, we're actually, this is our build as it sits now. We haven't put any cables in it or anything like that, but you can actually see where things sit. All our fan stuff on the other side here, waiting. But there it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually go ahead and hook up all our front panels. So I'm gonna route the front panels. Really quickly, get those done. And then we'll uh, go to the other parts. We got, our, we got a USB, well, let's do it down here. We'll do a USB 3.2 down here, USB-C. See it pop in right over here, USB-C. We got our HD audio, it goes down here. I'm gonna have it come, uh, I'm gonna actually have it come through here, yeah. And then we have our front panel connectors also coming through here. And then from our USB, from our cooler, our, our hub, we have our we have a USB, there we go. Okay, and we'll, we'll have to, because we know, we'll have to plug in two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have to plug in one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll have to plug in one fan, plug in one fan up here. We're gonna make sure that this cable is gone. We gotta plug in one fan into the motherboard. As well, because the other fans can all get controlled via the Corsair. Okay, so all of our front panels are on the other side now. Everything else we can all control via the hub and all that other stuff. Okay, let's put it down and let's get it hooked up. Urgh. Ugh. Okay, top down. Okay, fun times now. Start making our build look good. USB-C, right there. Okay, USB 3.2, just create a little space here. Mm, yeah, because the GPU will be right up against that, so that's good. There we go. This is USB 2, right here. HD audio is gonna go over here. Okay, and then we have our front panel connectors right here, which of which we have every one of them. Nope, we're missing hard drive. Yep, it's a reset switch. Power plus and minus.
we'll zoom in and show you guys what I hooked up in a second. We're just gonna make sure all of our stuff is hooked up first. There we go. Okay, and then here at the top is a single. We have a single fan cable. We go right here. There we go. Okay, and that's we're down. Now what we're gonna do is these will get hidden. Make sure these are like all the way down and in. Hard about these. Okay, so let's fix this so it stays up. Okay, what we're just trying to do is make sure that as many cables are hidden as we possibly can. All right, those. This one will get hidden with the... Okay, so let's put in our two EPS power real quick. Cause I want to run these. There's two of them here. Eight pin. That's not what I wanted. EPS. EPS. Okay, cool. I should get rid of those. Okay. Okay, so we can help hide those other cables and then start the process of adding beauty to the build. I want to hide these and then that'll be easier to hide with these other cables. There's that one. Okay, now we need to grab some four pin cable combs. This is when we're gonna start adding some beauty to this now. Start creating that. Oh, that's not an eight pin. That is a, another, this is what I want. Nope, that's not an eight pin either. There it is. It's like, I keep grabbing the wrong cable. There we go. Okay. Start adding those little pops of color now. Okay, it's just gonna go on this side. Give him 
two per. There's one, a little bit of gold, great little pop there. Same thing with the other side now, and that'll help me hide this other cable and take the Look off here. We should have, we should be guys at, be able to do level two hype train. We should be able to do hype train just as an FYI. I like the dual EPS on this one. something help oh, cable manage just one cable there we go yeah, that makes a big difference Okay, that takes care of that problem. This is what I wanted. I'm trying to make sure all the stuff looks clean. Important to me. Okay. I wish I had a better way to hide this top cable here. Not really any way to do it otherwise. Might be able to actually let me see there's something here real quick guys now we're just gonna get this little bit of cable management stuff done make it look better can i just i can it's gonna look way better That ends up looking better. Okay.
Okay, that will that cleans up how that looks. Quite a bit. Okay, cool. I think that's a much nicer looking. I'll show you guys what I just did and zoom in and show you what I hooked up. Again, I was just cleaning up the top, so let's go down and show you guys. All the cables look much nicer now. One problematic cable here. Okay. And this one, like the flap. Okay, there you go. That makes a big difference. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I can show you. I cleaned up the overall look here. What I did is I, instead of hiding, oh, hype trains there. Instead of hi hiding, so what I did is instead of hiding that big cable collection here, I've decided to drop them into the back. Now that's nice and clean. This is now cable managed and then closed together. So this is nice and tighter and cleaner now. And then going into this corner. So again, you still just get the pops, but everything's kind of hidden, which looks simple. You don't have that big bunch of cables at the top. Um, and then again, we hooked up our USB-C, our front panel connections, USB 3.2, uh, USB and HD audio. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, because I can, is I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the GPU and go ahead and hook up the other connections because everything is pretty close. Then I'll go over and just cable manage, which is a little bit easier. So let's do our GPU, but let's finish hype train real quick. But I'm gonna grab our big cable. Thank you very much, guys. Super appreciate all the support. Remember guys, a couple things, big thing that you can get in on here. Wow, CKCC, thank you very much, man. That means a lot with all the, I know that uh, Psycho and you guys have been like super supportive of like just, sometimes you, even the most prepared builders can uh, make mistakes guys and it does happen. So, um, but I think the build is going, is coming out awesome. And so, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, but CK. So again, guys, uh, two 3070s we're giving away. Uh, if we hit level two, we just hit level five hype trains, so we're good there. But if we get uh, two, remember if we get 1500%, uh, on this, uh, on this, um, we got 1500% here. Then we're gonna make it a one terabyte NVMe instead of just a, um, <laughs> nice, the wolf. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, one terabyte instead of a 500 gig. We get 1500% twice. So Red Dragon Zombie, thank you for the five sub Psycho drop in her 25 gifted sub Psycho. Are you happy? I hope so. I hope you're happy. This me, I like it's important that I get this right. So if you're not happy, of course we will make you happy, but I really hope you're happy. I want every build to be awesome, and it's always like when I hit little surprises like this, always thing like that. Okay, this these little these are gonna make a big difference too, because it's just like The specs guys will link, and um, they're not, they, we don't have a spec, we should do a specs, um, but then everybody'd spam it, and then Blondie get mad, so. The specs are, if you're watching YouTube, you're head over to, you can watch it on YouTube and uh, see the specs are down in the description. I know our, our mods link uh, the parts a lot uh, if you're over on um, Twitch. We're getting there. 1400% guys. Well, I guess you guys really wanted the other thing. Thank you.
Okay, so again, these are gonna start creating like that, that look we want. There we go, look at that. That looks so good. Nice black and gold. Getting a little bit more of that gold from the from the Jeep from the uh, G skill as well. There you go. That looks really good. 1476% guys. Yeah, we're at, I it it actually isn't. Where it just looks that way from the from where it's at. If I bring up the thing, you'll actually see there's there's enough room there. We'll uh, test fit it here in a minute. That would be like the that would be the uh, coup de gras at that point in time. Okay, uh, oh shoot. I forgot to put this back on. Uh, Roby, got to put our dust filter back in. Let's put that in real quick. Look, we haven't tightened these down or anything yet. There we go. Now we got our dust filter in. Sixteen and twenty-three percent, guys, and we're we're almost there. Grab our grab our uh, GPU stuff. Sixteen and twenty-three, guys. Thank you very much for all your support. Okay, let's grab our GPU here. Ooh. Uh, Asus Strix 3090. Okay. Oh, she's such a big boy. You guys will see her just drop in here in a second. Okay. One of our first, it's one of the one year edition, the first ones that didn't have the, the, um. oh, we didn't get all the peels, guys. I thought we had. Going to Cam Link, here's our beautiful card. Get those peels here real quick. All those peels. We have lots of peels on this one. Top down so you guys can see all the peeling. There we go. Okay. All the peels are off. So many peels. Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna open up our slot here. These are so secure on here. Okay. Oh, 
Ugh. There we go. Am I actually in? Looks like it is, but it's not. Oh, I guess I gotta use a little bit of. I'm gonna check. Everything's seated. The case is like a little bit tight. There is, it's not, the case is, it's just the case is like a little bit, I don't understand, like, I'm gonna reseat this just in case. I need my special tool. The, K, the GPU fits fine. Just the, uh, Yeah, we made it really long. It's really long. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Okay. And you've got, it's not touching the top. So we've got space. Build this. The... Just checking what's going. It's almost like the. This is not seating. Hmm, that's weird. Trying to figure out why this card isn't seating. It's not like there's an issue. It's like it's just like the feels like the and now it's like It's not seating. I mean, it's not, I mean, nothing's blocking it. Nothing's stopping it from blocking it unless it's this, unless it's these, right? It's, I mean, not, it's not hitting the cooler. It's not doing anything like that. so weird. Actually, it looks like it's seated. It looks like it's seated now. No, it's not. Guys, I'm going to... It's not hitting anything. There's nothing it's stopping. It's just not going in. Unless it's like something that's like the M.2 or... For some reason, it's just being stopped getting in. It's not hitting any, like there's plenty of clearance on everything. 
I wonder if I'm not, I wonder if it's not, if I'm not hitting the right side right. Like it's not, I'm gonna try, hold on one sec. Now it's not the M.2 shield. I mean, it's not, you don't even see it hitting there. I wonder if I'm not getting it inside of the, the traps on this, so which, which does happen. These are really tight. So. Almost like this isn't what's in there. Everything there looks good. It's almost like that's the problem, is like these little It's just like, what? Okay, well, it's in now. Okay, so it's seated now. Oh, shoot. This like sits up a little bit or? I don't know. <clears throat> Guys, I'm gonna try just a different GPU. Same 3090, I'm just gonna see. Right now I'm just trying to get the thing to let go of the card. There you go. It was definitely seated there. It's like it's in, but it's just like, it's being weird. Okay, I'm gonna try just to try. If it's just something about the ROG. One sec guys. Okay, so we have another 3090. Yeah, this is the same thing. It's like the seated. This one has a lot more room in the back and everywhere, but it's just like, yeah, it doesn't quite, almost like the board, is the board not level or? Cause it's in, it's almost like the board isn't level or? Okay, I'm gonna get this one out. But it's not, it's definitely not the card. It's like something is keeping, it's like the, it's almost like something's not seated correctly or something because it's like the card the the cards aren't sitting straight in the case 
I don't know if like I didn't like like something was behind the case or The GPU clip is open guys. The GPU clip's open. The thing is is it's not sitting. It's like the board, it's like the board like it's like something is keeping it from sitting flat across here. And the GPU clip's open. So it is open. Uh, I, I don't think, it doesn't look like the slot is at an angle. I'm looking to see like if maybe there was something that I didn't see when I put it down on the GPU, like on the motherboard, like on the... Because it's not sitting. I'll zoom in. You guys can see. Hold on one sec. Where's my zoom in thing? Where's my zoom in? Oh, here it is. Hold on. Okay, so. It's, I mean, it could, I mean, it could be this, right? It could be this that's keeping it from going down, but something is like not allowing it to sit all the way down. Um, I'm gonna try and remove. But I mean, the, it's on the pin. <laughs> I didn't have any issues with the thing. Gonna, I'm just gonna, for the sake of testing, to see if that makes a difference. Yeah, see, it's like, it's clipped, but it's not like it's, it clips in. It's like the, it's like the board is like, it's, it's not flat against the. It's not flat against the board. It's definitely not that. It's definitely not this. That is not causing an issue. Yeah, I might, I might have to just take the MOBO out and just see if that fixes the seat. Like it might need to be reseated. Cause like, it's just like the GPU is just not sitting all the way against the edge. And it's like, I'm looking at the case and the case isn't bent. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I can think is like, take it out, look at the seating, the seating, the crook, the standoffs and see if there was a crooked standoff or something. Cause I don't know what, I mean, I don't know what else it would have been. There's nothing else is like here. Nothing else is like screaming out for me. It's like the only thing I can think is that the motherboard itself. So I'm gonna quickly. Because at least the motherboard doesn't have an AIO. So it's a little bit easier to get out. Minus this stupid. There we go. Okay. 
The good thing is, is that it's easy to get out. Come on. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, because if like the if a standoff was like that, that could potentially cause a problem. I just got to remove one fan, and then we're basically in the next position here. Okay, I'm going to remove the motherboard real quick and just see if there's something that's keeping the motherboard from being flat. Hold on one second, I'm gonna clear this area right here. Just wanna be able to take it out and put it someplace. Okay, there's the, all the screws out. Okay. Oh shoot, what's this one? Oh shoot, one screw. One connection. Okay. I wonder if it could have been that. No, uh, I don't. I mean, that was like that was that probably didn't. Was something keeping it straight? Like, was that keeping it out? I don't see anything else that could have been a problem. The board itself, nothing is bent there. I wonder if it just didn't seat correctly. Let me just put it back in real quick and then see if the see if that fixes our see if that fixes our GPU issue. Okay. I'm just gonna try to seat the GPU now.
No, it's just, it's just like, it's like, what the heck? I mean, I can do this and like scoot it in. It's seated now and like scoot it in and screw it in. I don't know if like, maybe this is just a little bit bowed. But yeah, the motherboard is, was seated correctly. Yeah, it's a Corsair case, which I've never had an issue like this before. I checked the card. I did. We did it with two different cards. Yeah, I think the case might be. Oh, this this does look slightly bowed. I mean, the thing is, is it's aluminum. So if I did this, I mean, I could basically. Yeah, and that's fixing it. Yeah, I could push it in. It's just bowed a little. Yeah, the case is warped. It's the case. It's the case. I can see. Yeah, it'd be too much. It's too much. It'd be too much pressure. But we could warp it back in, or we can order a different case. I mean, but again, it's like it's just. It's probably just needs to get banged in a little bit because it's not. Yeah, it's it's the case. Yeah, this case, this is not usually this hard, guys. Now, let me grab my... Um, where's my connector? There it is. Yeah, I mean, what we could do is we could basically push this in. And that, like, oh, that makes a big difference already. So I could push this in, I reseat this, and then just push the, the case in. It's just a little bit warped on the other side. Let me just get this seated real quick. I'm also wondering if that one cable was stuck under there. Cause it's like, it's just in this one spot. By the way, those screws all go in nicer. It's just in this one spot was like a little bit, a little bit warped. Yeah, see, like now it's, now it's the, yeah, now it's in. And that would actually sit fine. There you go. Yeah, and it's seated now. And it, it's just, I just need to push that one side in. Cables thing is not. Jeez, I'm crow. So you get this one thing to catch right. Oh, it goes on the outside, that's why. There we go.
There we go. No, don't fall through. Don't be that cable. Okay. Okay. How can that even get on that side? Doesn't make any sense. You'll have to pull that one back through. Oh my gosh. fix this Okay, so now make sure you have everything rehooked up. Clean that up. There you go. Okay, that's in. It's all connected, it's seated. Just a little bit of a, just had to push this in, but now it's nice. It's not pulling, it was like, it was barely pulling on this now. This is nice and seated. It's not pulling hard on the lane at all. So, and that looks good. There's your build. It actually looks great. Minus this little part up here. We'll fix that here in a minute. Let's get these cables to. I don't like how that one top cable. Ugh. Okay, making sure that, that, there you go, I want that flap to close, that's what is important to me. Okay, I guess that flap's closed now. Let's get our triple, last little cables here.
Where's the scissors? There. Okay, grab our three cables. These are not very long. I just realized that could be interesting. There we go. Okay, next up. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, it's like the, it's like Silverstone like intentionally bent all of these cables the wrong direction. I mean, I love the, the way the cables look, but it's like how they bent them is just odd. Like how they were packaged, but we'll train them. Uh, there's a link if you wanna look them up. The goat, there, there's a link uh, with the parts list. One more. Okay. Oh. You piece said. There you go. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Cable combs. You can do it. Oh my gosh, this one is being a pain. Get in there, cable combs. Oh my gosh. Why is this one being such a pain? No, oh, because I got it twisted. There we go. Okay. These are like definitely the hardest. It's 
like come down here. I need one more. Need one more cable comb. Gonna have to do down here. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No cutting corners. I can get it right on that little knuckle there. No, that doesn't help. Okay, here we go. That was a problem process, but it's in. Oh, we got our USB C. Okay. Okay. GPU looks good now. Everything is in. Okay, let's flip it over and uh, let's get all of the kit. Like we, the thing is, is like we don't even have half the, half the uh, fan stuff hooked up yet. But that's the front. The front actually is done, for the most part. Like we just, all we have to do is hook everything up, and then let's take a little bit of training for these cables. But it looks good. Okay, let's get our hooked up, our stuff hooked up on the other side. Ugh. Okay, so we need to get rid of this because we're going to use the new one. Where is the? There it is. Okay. So we're going to get rid of this because we need the new one. Okay, now we need this one instead. We'll need two of them because we have seven fans.
Okay. And this is gonna get plugged into over here, which the good thing is, is like most of these cables, the cable management in here is actually pretty easy because most of the cables are gonna get plugged into along the side, which means we can just kind of route them and make them look good. Um, okay, so here's what we need. Getting close to having this build done finally. Okay, that belongs to this. I just need to get these other. RGB. Yeah, these are our fans. This one's gonna go into six. Okay. And then RGB hub. Start plugging these bad boys in. Six. Five. And again, the PSU should be okay. That's the RGB. Okay, here's our other ones. Just care about our hubs for now. Three from the front, two from the bottom too. I don't know where those are. Oh, there's only one, that's right. There's only one at the bottom, it's just down here. Okay. Okay, let's like let's hook this one. And we're gonna have two, so we're gonna have this we'll make this one and then the hub on this one one too. One. Okay, and then like I said, we'll have I feel like we're missing an RGB thing. I see three here. I should have seven. An RGB somewhere. I should have two off of here, but there, there's one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I should have seven, but I only have three here. I'm missing an RGB connection somewhere. Here's our two fans, two RGB. Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, I have, I'm have. i missing a fan down here. There's a fan down here, it's not. That's what I was looking for. There's one down here that I'm not. Somewhere there's a cable down here, it's not hooked up. Urgh. Okay, that's it. There it is. Okay, now we have all our stuff. Okay, so there's gonna be one fan, one RGB that will be on its own thing. So let's do, let's do, okay. Ugh. Okay. What I'm gonna start doing right now is just getting tables to be taught and managed. So I can start controlling stuff here. that one. Now here, it's like the cable management because it's hidden in the back. I mean, what I'm looking for now is just to make sure that cables are bunched 
bunched together as much as humanly possible to just look good and get them out of the way. Okay. What I want to do is get all of our front panel stuff. So I'm going to get all of our fan stuff out. So stuff that has nothing to do with Kate with our front panels. I want all this stuff. I'm going to disconnect this. Okay. So this is all our front panel. It's all our like. That's not. Okay. So this is all of our. PC, like just standard cables. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just bunching stuff up. I can start cleaning things up. just is out of the way, makes things a whole lot easier to manage. Okay, there we go. These are our EPS connectors, not as big of a deal. Okay, so there, there's that now. This is all of our fans. These are two of our bottom two fans. Now I want to take the two bottom fans themselves, these two. Okay, and I'm going to run these to one and two on our fan hub. There we go. Okay, there's that. Now what I'm going to do, basically just create a single bunch. There we go. <laughs> okay, so there's that. So these are all hooked up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and go ahead and give them one and two on RGB. So they match. And this is for later. So the joy here is just a bunch. And make the cable links as long as you can. Grab one of our big longer ones. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that one. Now, take our fans for this. Okay, here's our fans. Everything else here is all RGB and get these plugged in. This is three, four, and five.
three, Much as I appreciate this pre installed four and finally five. Okay. Oops. Okay, there we go. Now, same thing. Key thing is here is just making sure that our RGB is not twisted in with it. Just wanna make sure these are untwisted so we can do a little bit of, and this one we're not gonna, it's not gonna be as bad. Thing. Just kind of zip it down. There you go. This I just have one big, massive wire clamp here. Okay, so there's that. Now what I'm going to do with these three, which is the easiest, is I'm going to give them their own lighting node. Because these will be, oh, and I forgot, I got to do this sequentially, crud. Uh, I was going to do that. I can still do that here. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work, no. I gotta give, I gotta give one of these uh, longer. It's this one good. Because these have to be sequential, so that's why I had to change this. If I didn't make them sequential, it wouldn't work. Okay, whoo, that was there. Okay, now, we only have one more group of cables, then we can throw our PSU in. Let's grab all this stuff, then we can do our PSU and we're done. The PSU will not be bad. Very close, guys. We need one more. Lightning node. Okay. Okay, so this one This is just for the front fans. And it'll plug into the commander, the commander pro right here. And these last few fan, three fans are going to be one, two, and three. 
One, two, and three. Okay, so now all of our fans are all hooked up, our lighting nodes all hooked up. Okay. I wonder if I, I think I want to stick it right there. Okay, one more big batch and then I'll cut these extras. There we go. So everything's just on like a central cable. That's power. I think I'm gonna run this one. Up here. Again, just getting it Okay, so now everything's cleared. Everything's on a central cable. Very clean. Again, this stuff is gonna get plugged into its own, but yeah, for the most part, like everything's just out of the way and clean. The hubs are in central places. All the cables are in central places. The thing is, is that there's not a whole lot just because it's for this, it's like there's just a lot of depth for the case, it's for the, for the build itself, which is nice. So all of our, here's all of our cables now out and ready to get hooked up to power. Should be easy. Okay, let's get our PSU out. Thousand watts. Let's get this puppy on. This has been a journey, guys. A journey to say the least. Okay, we need that one. I don't need, oh, I'll probably need this here in a sec, okay. Kind of getting our workstation cleaned up here real quick. Okay. What I am gonna do is go take our random other 3090 and go put it back. I'll be back. And we'll put in our PSU. Okay, finally to the coup de gras of the build. Guys, the end is nigh, Bill Nye, as we grab our PSU and prepare for the smell test. Whew, this has been a process. Mm. 
Okay. Let's go to side camera real quick. Okay. Okay, what do we need out of this? We need VGA. Luckily they give you three, they give you individuals. So we need three individual VGA. There's one. There's two. I think there should be one more. They usually do give you three split. Okay, there's your power cable. Okay, here we have our 24 pin, big beefy PSU. Two, oh, there's the other third. Here's your other eight pin. Okay, and then they give you one more, which I don't need right now. Fold this one away. Okay, these can go in here. Okay, and then we have our collection here of, looks like, nope, I was wrong. Okay, two CPU. This is Molex, which I don't need, I need SATA which is right here. One SATA. There we go. Okay, so that should be all of the cables we need. And then I'll take a snifferoo of the old PSU. Okay. Okay, here's the PSU right here. Here's our power. Here's our screws. Goes in there. Okay, here we go, guys. See if a thousand watts means a thousand times better smelling. <clears throat> I'm guessing no. Here we go. Cam link. It's ready. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem fumigous. But here we go. Here it is. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Not. Not too bad. No, no. That's not bad. Oh, it makes me. Oh. Yeah, I, I should probably only sniff it like once or twice. Yeah, not like 13 times. I probably should not try and sniff it 13 times. You know, remember guys, the thing that we're always looking for here is we're trying to get to, um, you know, we're trying to get to, you know, we're trying to get to this. This is what Yankee Candle's working on with me. We're just looking for good, like good, PSUs to smell them. <clears throat> Good PSUs to smell them, you know what I mean? To get to get it started, you know what I mean? So you just need one day, guys. One day it'll be it'll be ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get our let's get our our stuff plugged in here real quick. So this is not I didn't want this one. I wanted split. I don't want a split one. I want a non-split one. Do they have another non-split one? I'm trying to get individual VGA cables instead of split ones. There we go. That's a non-split. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, 24 pin first. There we go. Then we have our VGA one. Then we have our, where's our other VGAs? VGA two. No, it's split two. Dang, I guess they don't give you that many. Okay, VGA two and VGA three. Okay, and then we have our CPU one and CPU two. And 
finally, we have SATA one. Okay, that should be all of the cables we need. Now, luckily, this just kind of goes in on the side, so it's not as big of a deal in terms of getting this inside here. So let's go ahead and hit top down. Nice, easy process. We have lots of room. There it is. Grab our silver screws. Okay, there we go. Now, we start making things get plugged in. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is, oh, they all fell, no. I was worried about that. Pull these through again. Okay, what I'm going to do is grab our VGAs first. These plugged in. There we go, there's one. I'm not done with you, come here. in last one that CPU there we go okay what we're gonna do first is batch these up untangling them from other web of cables here. I want these specifically. And I want them up and bent in such a way that they They'll hold this other one up. There you go. There's that. Okay, those are in. That'll take care of that problem. Okay, let's grab our little collection of power here. There's that one, that one, and that one. Okay.
big thing I'm looking for here is just to get them all clumped together. Okay. Next up is our two CPU cables. Okay, CPU cables are plugged in. What we'll do is we'll take our single motherboard cable. There we go. Okay, and there you go. Plenty of room for cable management. For the most part though, everything is clean and together. And we're good to go there. So everything's all lined up. It's all controlled. Like everything's put away. I mean, again, these are all clumped. Let's throw it back on and let's get our stuff back on it and let's see if this thing turns on. Closes very easily. It's hitting something, there we go. Okay. Ugh. Now we're just gonna put the top on. Okay, Put our, screw our tops on. You know, if the fan's not missing, it's so you don't steal air or pull air directly out of the flow of the air cooler. That fan is there in that position on purpose. We actually have tested that. And we've actually seen a pretty significant jump of fan in, in air. In, uh, whoa, Blue Moon, thank you for the 25 subs, my friend. And we've actually seen a pretty significant drop in air uh, temperature when you pull, when you put air in front of an air cooler. So like you do not want to put a fan there because you're literally just pulling air right out of the flow of the fan. Okay, guys, here we go. We are done. Is Psycho still here? Did she bail on me? She like, I'm done. There is the build ready to go. Okay, let's just give it a, a front look here. Cleaning up. And it was kind of weird, like for instance, this.
bring this one thing down. Okay. Air, okay, so just, just to be clear, what we have is air being directly blown into, into the GPU. Again, you're gonna have that come up through here and it'll pull air from here, but the other thing too is you're getting cool air directly from the three intake fans and you've got exhaust exhaust, basically pulling air, hot air off of the CPU and out. Okay, that's what we have. And again, we'll be testing the thermals for all this sort of stuff as well. Um, but yeah, there is the build. Get ready to turn it on in just a second. Has anybody seen Psycho? Is she still here? Keep looking for her. Yeah, there are, there's a lot of RGB in this. Okay, good. Just making sure. Everybody's saying she's here. Has she been talking? I don't know if she's been saying. Like, I've just been like... Okay, here we go. Okay, she says, I'm here. Okay, good. There it is. I was waiting for it. Here we go, guys. Oh. Okay. Boom. Boom. There it is, like a glove. There it is. It is so quiet. I mean, that's one of the things I really enjoy about these particular fans. And all of the fans are going, like you can feel the air being pulled through. Yeah, it is uh, It is here, it is done. Oh cool, I didn't know this This up here is actually RGB. Well, I'm glad I didn't block it. So you've got RGB there. You've got, it's showing the memory code right now. So again, we didn't put, we don't have I have matching things, but there are different kits. Oh, it's still going through the memory. Oh, it's going, okay, it's posting. It's on the CPU now. VGA code 84, and it posted. There it is, guys. Check it out. And then we'll go to capture, and there it is, it posted. There it is right there. Now, remember, guys, we don't have, I don't have a, it's only got 64 gigs of RAM. We need to put we need to put the other 128 gigs in because we're going to replace her RAM kit. Um, but yeah, we just have the uh, two storages, the CPU. There's the Threadripper. It's all ready to go. Um, it'll have 128 gigs. So again, we just did this to get it done um, and make sure that she has a build and she can watch it post. But we're going to replace it with 128 gigs of that gold RAM um, if that's what she wants to do. So it is all done. Let's get it and put it over on side camera so you guys can see. Get that close view that everybody really enjoys. But yeah, there it is, it is post. So not only did it get done, it did post. And then here you go. Oh, you guys get a close, oh my gosh, it weighs so much. Yeah, let's get it. You guys can see it here and then we'll start the giveaways because I think we hit all the stuff. There you go. You want it. There you go. There's oh, there's a lot of RGB. Now the plan is is to have it all black and gold, so it'll all match. So this will all be gold in terms of when the yellow goes through there, which will look really really clean. Right now I don't think. Oh the cut. Oh the camera disappeared. Hold on. That's weird. Okay, let me see what happened there. I'll start it again. Hold on one sec. There we go. There 
There it is, man, that looks so good. And again, we'll make it all, we'll make it all yellow and gold and get it all cleaned up and looking really good as well. So people are asking why only one fan on top? So again, this is a custom, this is an air cooler, right? So uh, one of the things that we're doing, I mean, one thing we could do is if I could put in it, I could put an intake, I could put an intake fan there. But the thing is, is one of the things we have tested and we just got finished doing this is that uh, you have uh, fresh air being pulled in directly into the, um, ow, that hurt, uh, directly into the air cooler. And then it, it's being pulled all the way through and then into the exhaust. Like you can feel, it's so funny. The difference between temperature of here and here is actually huge. Um, but the big thing is, is that um, if you were to stick a fan here, you are literally just gonna be pulling air directly up and through, and so you actually are going to starve air from your uh, cooler, your air cooler. Um, and so the reason we only don't, we don't have a fan here is because we do not want that to actually happen. So that's, what, that's, why, uh, that's why you only have a single fan. So yeah, there you go. That's why we did it. Psycho, what do you think? Are you happy? She's... Yes, the back, yes, the back fan and the top fan are exhausting. So both this fan, this fan, this fan and this fan are both exhausting. The three fans are intake. So again, this is pull this and this are pulling hot air off of both out of just both the case and also off of the CPU, the stuff that's being pulled out of the CPU. If you, yes, if I turn, now one I think I could do is if you just wanted to, and then you, I, if you care, you could put another, I could put another 140 fan intake and have it blowing down into. The problem is, is that you end up with a weird state, um, and we haven't tested this, but you end up with a weird state where you have air coming up through here. So it's basically trapping, it could be trapping hot air, but then again, that's getting pulled through. It's not probably gonna have a massive effect on your CPU. Now guys, I will tell you something super cool. Um, that is happening. Uh, which we will probably be the only ones doing this. We are building, um, we are building what are called SFD models of cases. And those are basically fluid dynamic models that you can use. It's what companies use to basically have, uh, it's what companies use to actually, when you look at an engine or whatever, talk about um, how the air flows through a case. Now we have a CFD engineer, which is very, they get paid a lot of money, but we have a CFD engineer who's gonna be doing CFD models of our cases. So we'll be able to show you temps, how they would change, how the airflow goes, all of that directed stuff uh, via um, VR these models. Um, so you'll be able to literally see, like if I was to place a fan here, you'd see how it changes, what the air is like down to an exact science, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited about it. So you guys should be, you guys should be looking forward to seeing those on some upcoming cases later in the year. So yeah, we have, we have some like, Pretty cool stuff that we're, that we're probably the only people who are gonna be able to do that stuff because just to find a CFD engineer is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, that yeah CFD fluid dynamic sim, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, so that way, instead of sitting there and being like, hey, what if I did this? We could literally just change the model and show you for each of these individual fans. Uh, the 5000D, I mean the 60, uh, the 680, it's, a, it's an aesthetic choice. Obviously the 5000D airflow is gonna get better airflow in terms of this stuff, but all in all, this, this case is gonna do well enough for cooling. Um, it has a ton of room around uh, the, uh, a, t a ton of room, especially in the top, uh, and it's, it's got you know, quite a bit of room on the bottom, but in terms of, there is gonna be some airflow restriction, obviously in that front uh, in general. So, uh, you know, but aesthetically, I think she's, she, she is happy, which is all that matters, right? Um, yeah. Okay, well, I think we are ready to do some giveaways. I think we're, I think we hit 1500 twice. Uh, this stream went way longer than it was supposed to go. Um, but you know what, if I, if Psycho, if Psycho is any indication of how much he supports, of course her PC is not gonna be easy. And so uh, anytime we build a $9,000 build PC, it's always gonna have issues. One thing I did, you, you know what, I didn't follow my own advice and that was basically on the Be Cool, um, I'm sorry, on the Be Quiet, uh, the Be Quiet, uh, air cooler, I didn't check the RAM clearance. So that's again, something we'll have to correct for sure. Um, so we can get the right number of RAM. Uh, but she'll she'll basically uh, she'll basically go through, she'll make sure that if we need to make any changes to the build to make sure she's happy. But yeah, in terms of where it's at now, it looks awesome. It has the right amount of cooling for the C, for the for the CPU specifically, which is just something that this thing struggles with because they don't have a lot of liquid coolers. 
um, outside of the inner max that is good for the um, uh, for the thread ripper. So I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah, yeah. I now know that now, Kason. So it, it which is taller, which is shorter than what you need for uh, Dominator Platinum. Right? I mean, Dominator Ram. But uh, you know, sometimes I don't follow my own advice, and I shouldn't have done that. Um, the GPU is not sagging. It is actually just how the, trust me, that GPU is definitely not sagging. Uh, it's just the way that the camera is sitting, but I checked it, the GPU is not sagging. The other thing too is that uh, uh, just, it's it's at an angle. Uh, the, the way the Strix is, is there's a slight angle between it, so it just looks like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and start the giveaways right now, guys. Again, like you can see, like even the the, the level, the thing, the, the camera itself isn't level, so that's why it looks that way. You could use water cooling. The problem is, is that there is no, so if I was gonna do liquid water cooling, there's only one company that makes a TR4 uh, water block, and then there's only one company that makes a TR4 uh, liquid cooler, and that's Intermax, and it's garbage, so yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our first giveaway. Uh, this is, oh, it looks like we actually finished the 5600X too. Um, so let's go to CloudBot. First giveaway is gonna be for uh, two one terabyte NVMe SSDs. Uh, you guys were amazing. And so everybody say thank you to Twitch and thank you to YouTube for basically making this happen. You guys are incredible. Um, entry point for this is gonna be exclamation point community. Just gonna make sure this is only running for two, min for two minutes. Okay, good. Okay, and that giveaway is starting right now. Exclamation point community. We're gonna be giving away two of these. Ugh. Two minutes, guys. We still have the uh, we still have the fifty six hundred X to give away as well, guys. Ugh. Okay, 30 seconds left. Whew, she's quiet. She's very quiet. This is cool. It's like, given how much airflow is going through this case, it's one thing that's really impressive is just how quiet it is. Uh, no, we'd have to get to 450 subs to make it a 5800X. I don't think you'll do that in the next X number of seconds. Let's put the uh, panel on so you guys can see that. Okay. There we go. That shows you like the little bit of tint that there is for there. I think there's no, I don't think there's a peel on. Yeah, that's, it's just you're getting some reflection obviously from the camera right now, but yeah, there's your, yeah, there's no, there's no peel, so, but yeah, now you can see the difference between the two. There you go. Okay, congratulations to our first winner, which is Kenneth Alano, and then our second winner, which is Eagle R6. That's Kevin Alano, Alano, and Eagle R6. Congratulations, you two. You are the winners of one terabyte NVMe SSDs. Okay, next one, we're gonna be doing and this is a big shout. Everybody say thank you, Newegg. Everybody say thank you, Newegg. 
This is going to be for a Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 5 5600X. And exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now is going to be the entry for this. And we're going to start that giveaway right now. Two minutes, guys. And then we're going to get a, we're going to get a, a, a hype figure, uh, sorry, a, a raid target here in a minute. I don't know if she has anything. Okay. Okay, so no, we don't have a raid target yet, but hopefully we'll find one here in a couple minutes. And we're quiet, 105 subs already, 304 today, guys. So I'm gonna see how Psycho, let's see if Psycho said anything on, her, on, on Discord. Oh, we're gonna do Zero Maverick X. Zero Maverick X is gonna be our Zero Maverick X is gonna be our, our raid target. Guys, I wanna say this right now, uh, here's the deal. Um, one of the best things we can do with 1,028 people right now is we're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna find a small streamer, we're gonna jump in. If you could just take a few minutes, uh, say hi, throw them a follow, be in there. Guys, sometimes they shake, sometimes they cry, like they never know. So it's always awesome to uh, just just make another streamer's day. And, and this can really do it. And it just takes so little of your time. So I'd really appreciate if you guys would just take a little bit of time, stick around. I'd love to jump in there with a thousand people. We have a thousand fifty right now. Uh, but I'd love to jump in there with a thousand people and just make somebody's day. Well, let's draw our winner right now. And then we're gonna we're gonna raid Zero Maverick Hex. Uh, before I draw the winner, um, one thing's oh never mind, we're gonna draw the winner already. It's Mo! Ooh, congratulations to Mo. Now, guys, there's another stream on Wednesday and Friday, so we're back to a normal week this week. So normal streams uh, and uh, all that fun stuff. So we'll be checking out the Deep Cool Matrix 40 on Wednesday, uh, and then I believe we're going to do Vegas Build on Friday, but I'm not entirely sure yet, so we're going to have to see how that is. But anyway, guys, congratulations to Mo, M-A-O-E-E-E. -E -E. You are the winner. Let's get ready to raid, guys. It's already so late. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, it was crazy. But you guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support. Let's uh, raid our individual now. Um, it was zero, M-A-V-E-R. All right, it is 17 people playing World of Warcraft. Let's blow his mind, guys. Let's blow his mind. How many people can go? How many people? 370, 470, 584, 647, 670. Okay, so 700 people. Thank you very much, guys. Outside of that, have a great night, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Rating now. For those of you over at YouTube, thank you for hanging out. For you, those of you at twitch.newegg, twitch.tv slash newegg, again, always appreciate you as well. We will see you on Wednesday for another amazing build. Bye, guys.